Cole, I was going around my house all day, dancing around, going, Mushoka Tensei. Mark Rambu Weebs, my name is Cole, his name is Mike, his name is Jay, we like anime, and this is episode 96 of the 96. Anime Protagonist. 96 of the Anime Protagonist podcast, and it's the end of the uh, season? Summer. Of anime. Summer season. Summer's yeah. coming to an end. Yeah. Sorry, I'm full on in spooky season now at this point. I've forgotten what comes before it's a, this. It's, I mean, it's October, so it's I mean, October. That's yeah, that's true. Yeah, it's spook, spooky season. End of summer. You know what that means? It's award time, baby. I even got a collared Ooh. shirt on for the occasion. Oh, wow. should I, look at me! I should put one on too. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna wear a full on tuxedo, <clears throat> but uh, we should. Uh, you know what? I'm pulling an audible. We should like do the yearly awards in suits. We should. That is a good move. I've, I've thought about it. Yeah. And that's something we will discuss off air. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Uh, but these award shows, they're, they're pretty fun. And uh, we waste little time with them. I don't have any, any topics of discussion for you boys. There's nothing to say to you. Not this week. We got too much business to get oh, to. We got I have too one. much business to take. Oh, do you? Yeah. Well, did you, did you actually come up with one? Okay. Yeah. Um, what is the best of summer 2023? Oh, oh, we don't have time for that. Oh, we'll f- stick around to the end of the episode, and then you'll find out. No, don't talk like that. <laughs> you sound like you're. You sound like when you like talk into a fan. You know what yeah, I'm talking about? Yeah, he's like in a wind yeah. tunnel. Yeah, don't yeah. like it. Don't like yeah. it. That's. I just have a fan in front of me. Can't you hear it blowing? Well, I mean, your, we have a ton of fans listening time. to this show we don't have fans jay that's I'm so presumptuous of jay you. cole i'm your fan thank you mike thank you flattery will get you nowhere and everywhere yeah Guess flattery will get far. you so far and that's <laughs> quick little like brown far. nose goes a long way let's stop talking to each other because as michael alluded to earlier we have business to attend to and our first piece of business that we must attend to is our song of the season. Mm. Mm. So there was, there were sure some songs that there, were attached to anime. Let me tell you. Let me tell you about them. Uh, <laughs> there was that one song. Mm-hmm, no, actually, mm-hmm. um, my my nominee, my my winner for song of the season is is an interesting one, and I'll just I'll just get this party started by saying, uh, the song of the season for me was called Name by Suzuri and mm. that is the OP for the girl I like forgot her glasses okay mm. okay it's just okay. a nice little little poppy bop yeah uh yeah. it's got uh it's quite catchy it's it's nice I like it I like yeah. it I thought you were gonna go with the uh, cat one to be honest with you uh I th- the OP for that one is I but the uh the OP for the gir- girl glasses one is is Okay. Fire. Good. Because I watched like uh, a... it's it's fuego. I would say. Do you know what fuego, fuego. means? No, I don't. Isn't fuego it just means fire? fire. Yeah. Oh. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah, fuego. That's yeah. right. Yeah. yeah. I watched like a compilation video right before we started recording of like all the OPs and EDs and just mm-hmm. like got like mm-hmm. a taste, just a little taste of each one, you know. And what it, what did I, your? Uh... I thought the cat one seemed like pretty fire to me, honestly. Like I, the cat one's fun. The, I like it. It's the glasses just the, one seemed good too, but yeah. The glasses one, I just like the song more. Mm-hmm. Okay, like the song that checks out. The glasses yeah. one more that makes yeah. sense for me. Uh, what about you, Jay? I see you there. Yeah, I see you there looking pensive, thinking. <laughs> um, there were a lot of good songs this season, honestly. Like a lot of. Songs. I already said that. Yeah. yeah. No. Um. <laughs> and I'm 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 well, agreeing Jen, with you, you. You have a good point there. You have a good I'm point. agreeing uh, with you, yeah, Cole. Yeah, yeah, I'm agreeing. Um, just some songs that, like, I thought, uh, banged for me. Um, the OP to Hori Mia, I thought was a good song. Mm-hmm. The OP mm-hmm. to, uh, uh, Mushoku Tensei, season two was a yeah. good song. Yeah. I like the OP for Mushoku Tensei. Yeah. I would say better songs this season than OPs even, which is a weird thing yeah. to say. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, the OP to Bungo Stray Dogs season five came out of yeah. nowhere. It was, like, fire. Um, yeah. I liked how, I liked that it was kind of heavier. I like that yeah. a little heavier with it. And it. like it kinda good. it kinda fit the vibe of 
what was going on in the show, which, like, it's a lot more serious, a lot more, like, down to the wire, like, we gotta get stuff done, and, like, it really fit, but also the song was just really good. Are you, are you saying in, right now in season five of Boom Go Stray Dogs, it's business time? It's business time, boys. It's business. It's, it's business, business time. time. But, anyway. um, my <laughs> any song of the season... Yes, is none of those. Yeah. Of oh, course. Whoa. Naturally. Naturally. <laughs> he hoodwinked us. <laughs> My any song of the season is a little ditty mm-hmm. <laughs> called Toco Siesta from St. Mm-hmm. Cecilia and Pastor Lawrence. Ah, it's the ED. Ah, okay. Ah, okay. E- a rare ED selection. Yeah, I like honestly, it. Honestly, like, every time I'd hear it every week, it was just like, it was just a vibe. It's just one of those okay. songs that you just put on, you just vibe to. You know, mm-hmm. and it it just it was just great listening yep. to it every week. Very good. Now, Michael, I Top hope you filled tier. out your form. Uh yeah, I, this is the time when I have managed to fill out the form in time and not late, and I have it all completed here. Don't Very worry. good. What's Very your good. pants situation like today? Though? Pants? I'm wearing. Let's check. Let's quick pants check. Wearing shorts. Oh, nice. Shorts. Whoa. Whoa, upper yeah. thigh. I was going to move my Jake? camera to show my shorts, and I was like, wait a minute. And then it's not, not, really wearing not a good idea. <laughs> I'm not, not wearing, wearing shorts. <laughs> again, again. Classic day. I'm not uh, even wearing underwear. There's quite a few good songs this season, <laughs> honestly. Like, I just want to say there's quite a few good songs this season, and it's hard to choose just one. Mm-hmm. But I, I will. So I will. I, I just want to. Sorry, I just. Right, yeah. Were you saying there was a lot of good songs this yeah, season? Yeah, there's just a lot of good songs this season. I, I just I just wanted huh. to get it out there and just say it for the first time that's, on the that's podcast. A wild take, that's yeah. a wild take, Mike. Yeah. <clears throat> so there's two. As always, I'm always waffling between two because I'm a waffler. That's what I do. Mm-hmm. And the yep. two that I'm waffling between is Where Our Blue Is by Tatsuya so, Kitani. From where Your What? Where Your Blue Is? Where Our Blue Is. Okay. So like, you're where waffling. Are, you're, like, where you're A-R-E? waffling. Like, like. Where our blue waffle? Oh is. No. No, oh, no, no, no! Don't oh, no. don't Google that. Oh don't no, 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 no! Don't Google that. Don't do that to me. Uh, where our <laughs> my blue dad is. listens to this? Just as a reminder. Okay, Jay's, Jay's dad, dad Google blue waffle. <laughs> don't. No, 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 no! Don't, don't do it. Bringing me back to computer lab in two thousand two. <laughs> nice. Um, getting in trouble for googling blue waffle. Yeah, and uh, meat spin or whatever the heck the other thing was. <laughs> <laughs> and goatsy but anyway where our blue is and it's it's w-h-e-r-e-j because you asked that question where uh, are like a-r-e where is where is the blue is what basically what it's asking mm-hmm. yeah okay mm-hmm. um and that's the op for jujutsu kaisen season two uh okay. maxi actually in our discord suggest requested that i ask to put it on the op playlist like we have our annual list playlist but uh, I don't think you guys have heard the song, so I can't do that yet. Hey, bro, I think this song slaps. Believe it. I do think now this song slaps. Time. Yeah, now now's not, not the time. Yeah, now's not the time, though. No, no, no. Well, no, we, we have an, we have plans. We have schemes. We have machinations coming up. Mm-hmm. Uh, the other one I'm waffling between is uh, End Roll by Yu, Yo Kamayama. It's the ED for Bleach. Uh, Thousand Yo. Year Blood War. And I'm just going to have to go with the one that actually made it onto my playlist already out of these two. And it's Where Our Blue Is by Tatsuya Kitani. That's the one I'm going to go with. Mm-hmm. But honestly, like, I really like the Zom 100 song as well. I don't know if either of you have heard that yeah, one. That yeah, one, that one was pretty good. Kana Boon is just always good. And yeah. it was really t- it was really close to put that one in, but it just didn't quite. It wasn't quite there yet. Mm-hmm. Do you guys mm-hmm. have any other ones? Um, I didn't really make notice of any songs itself. I mean, My Happy Marriage had a good uh, OP song. Mm-hmm. And I like the ED song for uh, The Masterful Cat is Depressed Again. Okay. Or is depressed okay. or, yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I, I would just like to draw attention to those two songs, I think. Any, yep. Anyone else? I already listed the songs that were highlights for me, so. You know what's mm-hmm. going to be like a crazy take by me and you guys are going to roast me for it? Go. I kind of liked the Rent a Girlfriend OP song this season. I don't know. It was good. It was, it was good. I don't remember. I don't know if you guys have heard it, but I don't know. It was just kind of catchy. It's just a good song. It's a, it's, you could just picture it's like a classic Rent a Girlfriend OP. But anyway. That's okay, Mike. You can yeah. like 
You can yeah. like bad stuff. Look yeah, at Mike. me. I love yeah. rent a girl. I love girlfriend. Girlfriend. <laughs> he almost said it, Jay. I almost said it, but then I stopped <laughs> myself. <laughs> he almost off. admitted it. Yeah, he almost, almost admitted to his greatest shame. I almost shame. Uh, walked right into the trap I set for myself. Mm-hmm. Uh, f- best duo. Best Ooh. duo. Now this can be a couple or just uh, uh, a general uh, just a pairing, a partnership. Dynamic duo. A dynamic quite a few duo. good duos this season. To be there one, yeah. one could say there was quite a few yeah. good duos this season, such as uh, Mie. Mie? And uh, the other guy, fr- and the guy, the <laughs> guy <laughs> from the glasses girl one? Yeah. Hori like Miura. Yeah. Of course. Mm-hmm. Hori Mi- I mean, the whole show is called Hori Mia. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but for mm-hmm. me, I'm going to go a little a little off the b- beaten path here. Oh, he's spicy today, Jay. Uh, I'm going with uh, Saku Fukuzawa and Yukichi, her cat. Oh, from the masterful cat. Yeah, <laughs> you would go <laughs> that direction. You would. Yeah, you I don't know. Would. I like their I like their dynamic. How she's just useless and and the cat does everything, and yeah. he's just kind of tired mm-hmm. of it, but he still does it because deep he is he is the tsundere of the season, Yukichi. Really? I think so. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I can't really think of a any, many. It wasn't a good tsundere season to be honest. Not many tsundere's this season. Oh, yeah. No, no. But anyway, that's that's my yeah. that's my nominee. That's my winner. Okay. Uh, what about you, Jay? What are you? What um, are you going with? Yeah. Uh, I mean, we. Yeah. We, <laughs> I didn't want to. I didn't want to. Puberty. Puberty sucks. Yeah. <laughs> Twenty five. Still going through it. Um, yeah. Full beard. Thirty. Yeah. Full beard. <laughs> the, the fullest beard out of the three of us. <laughs> Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, Cole hit the nail on the head. There are a lot of good, uh, duos this season. There was. I was going to say that for everyone. <laughs> actually, no, I, can't, I can't actually say that in good faith about every it's a category good, It's here. a good intro statement. I know, I know. <laughs> okay, um, Jay, go. But for me, and this is going to sound like I'm, uh, I'm playing favorites here, and I wonder what uh, I, I wonder what kind of a trend this is going to start. Mm-hmm, but mm-hmm. Um, my favorite duo of the season was uh, Saint Cecilia and Pastor Lawrence. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I see where Naturally. we're going. Yeah. Naturally, we're going. there were a couple. Jay watched one show this season. <laughs> <laughs> no, the, there were a couple that like came really close, mm-hmm. but like this one was just like it's just such a comfy show, man, and they're just so comfy together and their their interactions with each other is just so just so comf and it was it was nice to watch every week so comf so i'm sure this is not the last time we've heard from this show today (laughs) michael what was your duo of the season listen there's this little show there was you know what let's just face it there was a lot of good duos this season (laughs) yeah yeah and uh saint cecilia and the pastor lawrence were certainly one of them yeah but Mm -hmm. they're not my duo of the season Oh, I no. have three, and I'm going to just tell you which one of them it is at the end. Some of these blue waffling between yeah. three. <laughs> Hori and Miyamura. How can you? How can you just even? You know? Yeah. Like, I mean, sure. the, that name, one the show's was very name is Hori Mia. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And they're like they're like an all time couple. And this season gave Absolutely. them some good moments, but this season kind of focused on other characters a lot too. Yeah. And I didn't feel like there was that many great Hori and Miyamura moments. It kind of focused mm-hmm. more on the ensemble rather than the mm-hmm. them. You know, Ooh, which is like a J with the big French word and ensemble. 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 <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, I, I'm glad you agree with me, Jay, because like it kind of filled mm-hmm. in the gaps of the first season. And it's those are all the things pieces. I could see. I, yeah, exactly. And I could see why yeah. they took it out because it's a lot of like scattershot stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, the other one I thought of was the main two characters from Undead Murder Farce. Uh, mm. The headless girl, Aya, and the Oni guy. I forget his name. Blue mm. vein guy there. Mm-hmm. I don't know. They're a good. They're a good duo as well. But my duo that I'm gonna go with is Mio and Kiyo Taka from uh, My Happy Marriage. I'm gonna ah. say they were quite positively lovely to watch quite on lovely. screen yeah, the yeah. entire time, and it's just, just nice to watch. Like, obviously Gojo and uh, Ghetto were in my running too, but uh, mm-hmm. I don't want to give too many awards to that show because I love that show but we'll we'll get there we'll get there yeah yeah, yeah, yeah we'll, yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll yeah. get to it Mio we'll and Kiyotaka from yeah. My Happy Marriage cool. are my did, duo of the season did you have any others that you uh, wanted to give a shout out to before um no I, I think I gave my shout out to the ones that I could think of okay. just immediately off the top of my head okay. uh, of course there's always going to be more that I'll think of after the fact but naturally we can't just sit here and 
for yeah, sure. Think. Um, I did want to give a shout out to uh, Rudy and Fitz because I thought that yeah. they were a great cup, uh, great duo. Yeah, they um, were a great duo. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and um, then, oh, sorry, go ahead, Cole. Oh no, no, no. Um, <laughs> Uh, and Jay. then also I want to give a shout out uh, out of left field uh, Masamune and uh, Aki Adagaki with the good duo vibes from uh, Masamune Kun's mm-hmm. Revenge Season 2 mm-hmm. randomly sure. randomly speaking of randomly okay. what was your underrated anime of the season uh, the whole season here was I wouldn't say the strongest season. I mean, it's summer. Summer usually has some. It was some low on lights. Par. I, you know what? I'd even say it was maybe even strong for summer from my watching experience. Mm. Like there was some good summer's stuff just this generally generally pretty weak, right? Yeah. Uh, for me, my underrated show, mm-hmm. and despite its premise being one where you'd think people would talk about it a lot, uh, and based on who made the show and its premise. It was surprisingly wholesome and good. Uh, the masterful cat is depressed. Mm, I yes. thoroughly enjoyed it, and nobody really talked about it. The characters were fun, and uh, yeah, it was it was a it was a nice comfy show. It was an, it was a nice throw it on in the evening before bed. And yeah, you, you know what? I didn't sweet hear dreams of giant cats. I didn't hear anyone say anything bad about that show. To be fair, so like no, I, nobody I, said anything bad, but nobody yeah. just. There's just nobody really like not hyped. many people. Yeah, yeah, no, not many people talking about it generally. Yeah, it just kind of went under yeah. the radar. Yeah, which That's definitely kinda... fits the vibe of like mm-hmm. this category, right? Yeah, being absolutely. Yeah, under the radar, mm-hmm. Tid. <laughs> Jay, yes. <laughs> Let's move on from that. Yeah. Um. So I could go for the clean sweep and just numb and just say Saint Cecilia and Pastor mm, Lawrence again, but, the, the yeah, queen but where's sweep? the fun in that? But where's yeah. the fun in that? And I mean, like, as as good as this show is, I wanted to fu- I want to highlight a show that I think um embodies the definition of underrated, and mm. um. I mentioned this, like, at the beginning of the season, but there was a show that aired this season that was, like, a better version of Rent-A-Girlfriend, and um, that show is Masamune-kun's Revenge. I think it Mm. took... It has an an interesting enough premise um, of a guy being bullied by his childhood crush, and so he goes through this whole thing to try and get revenge on her. Oh, right, yes. Yes, yes, I do um, remember this. And so, like, this season takes things to another uh to another stage and like develops the plot further and it explores other ideas about the revenge and about their relationship that I thought was really interesting and I think that it gets a bit too much hate it's not I wouldn't say it's the best show but it's definitely not as bad as I think people are saying it is okay I you know what Jay honestly it's uh, this is a good pick too because I haven't heard a single person other than you even say that show's name to me Mm-hmm. To, at all this season so hmm. yeah now mike what show did you watch that was underrated i've if you guys have been paying attention to the podcast you can kind of guess what my underrated this season is because i kind of said a few times i don't know why people are not talking about this show or i don't know why people don't like it but it's atelier riza ever darkness mm. and the secret hideout i i really enjoyed this show i a lot of people liked uh the vending machine anime Mm-hmm. And I, I don't know why I keep like comparing the two because I basically at, at the midpoint of the season made like a dis, just said to like, I'm going to drop one of these. I don't and I was an easy pick to do the the uh, vending machine one. But mm-hmm. uh, yeah, I would definitely say Atelier Rise. I thought it was just a cute, fun show. It had pretty low stakes, but like it was well animated. It had like a good OP, good ED. The characters are interesting, like uh, and stuff happens in it. I mm-hmm. don't know what's uh, what's not to like. T- t- someone tell me. Tell me now, please. I think a lot of it has to do with the dissonance between playing a game and watching a show and like that that difference between like feeling engaged with the character that you're playing as versus just like watching them on a screen mm-hmm. might might cause a bit of a um, bit of disappointment. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it had a lot of hype going into the season. Everybody was really excited about the thighs. Yes, uh, thighs. Yes, and then, yeah, Thiza. just kind of, kind of, kind of dropped off, dipped down into yeah. into the into the swamp. Until, yeah. uh, fizzled out. Yeah. About it. Any yeah. other shows you guys want to mention? 
Um, I was gonna say Undead uh, Murder Farce. I really mm. enjoyed that show like a lot. Like it's, I think I rated it like an eight out of ten or something like that. Mm-hmm. And I can't really justifiably call it underrated though because it is a fairly well received show and yeah, there are think, people talking about it i think the people that did watch it like they did really enjoy it and they are talking about it mm-hmm. it's mm-hmm. going to be one of those like niche shows that get recommended every now and then to you like if mm-hmm. you know you know when you're like scrolling tiktok or something and you just get yeah. like a list of yeah. five here's five shows you gotta watch you mm-hmm. must watch five yeah. shows fart you probably face. haven't seen yeah exactly murder yeah. fart face <laughs> She's a head in a cage. She's an Oni. Despite they, all oh. her rage, she is still just a head in a cage. Nice. Nice yeah. Smashing Pumpkins nice. reference. Nice. Yeah. Always got to bring some Smashing Pump in. <laughs> uh, also, by the way, about that show, I didn't realize Speaking this. of smashing, smash that like button. Yeah, and that's <laughs> subscribe, buddy. Uh, and that Undead bell. Girl, Undead Murder Farce show is like yeah. a trap to get you to watch a show about like, it's like sneaky about uh what's his name sherlock holmes and like lupon and yeah. stuff and it doesn't make it clear that that's what it's going to be about until like about a couple like two thirds or a third of the way into the show and then all mm-hmm. of a sudden you're watching like all these historical i remember reading about things. it like before the show aired and i was like what is this weird premise it is a very weird show but it's good yeah. actually nice little mm-hmm. mystery very good. Jay, yeah. did you have one that you want to mention, or should we move on? I think we should move on. Let us move on to moment of the season. Mm. So what moment from a show that you partaked in watching mm-hmm. did you enjoy? I forget. I lost my train of thought. Um, <laughs> for me, it was... Uh, I, I don't want to... S- I'm not going to give any context towards what this means. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm just going to say Sylphie and Rudy in the cave. And then... Okay. No, I... I I agree that that is a really good moment. It's a good moment. This is always, like, a hard one to talk about because the very nature of the best moment is just, like, it has to be spoilers pretty much, right? Like, it's... Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. A little spoilery. But sometimes the moments kind of transcend and then they become uh, talking points. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So... Yeah. Uh, what about you, Jay? Um, my moment of the season is from the same show. Okay. But it's a bit later in the show. Um, my favorite moment. Later? A bit later. It's like the last episode. I was going to say, that's. So that's the second to last episode. Mm-hmm. <laughs> my favorite moment. It's got to one up you. I'm cured. Oh, okay. Oh, naturally. Okay. Yeah. Naturally. Because yeah, it made yeah. me cry. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Okay, fair. Um, so fair yeah, enough. It made me cry. It felt like everything built uh, built to that moment, and just like mm-hmm. the payoff was just, so good. Just sweet, sweet release, hey. <laughs> yeah, in more ways than one. Mm-hmm. In more mm-hmm. ways than one, mm-hmm. Mike. Yeah. What was your number one moment of the season? Well, I'm not going to talk about a prepubescent boy's little problems. <laughs> I'm going to talk about a uh, thousand, hundreds, or. Hundreds of years old girl becoming mm-hmm. her most powerful self. I'm going to talk about my favorite moment of the season. And that's when in Bleach Thousand Year Blood War arc part two, when Rukia comes back and unleashes her like full Bonkai thing. And mm-hmm. it's like crazy. Uh, the animation's it's really nice. Crazy. Yeah. It was just a super hype moment. And it be she, like, insane. Yeah, she, like, uses it to defeat, like, this crazy opponent that you think is, like, unbeatable. And, like, she... Ah, it's just... It's nuts. Uh, you can't talk too much. It's not really spoilers, because that's what all Bleach is, is, like, they basically... Oh, here's an opponent. Here's just a... It's the textbook. Let's just have two characters fight the anime. It's mm-hmm. it's yeah. great, though, because the shonen. fights are awesome. Yeah. They oh, it's, like, the most shonen-y shonen they're yeah. ever shonen but it's great. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Rukia going all frosty is my moment of the season. Ooh. Because she's ice cold. What's colder than being cold? Frozen. Frozone. <laughs> Frozen. Where Where's is my, my super, super suit? suit? <laughs> <laughs> Where yes. is my super suit? Okay. Uh, are there any other ones that you'd like to say? I don't have any, I don't think. That one, mine just kind of stuck out in my head. There wasn't yeah. really any, like... 
I don't know. I kind of watched more like Slice of Life this season. So like, kind of. Well, I love that scene where yeah. they were in the classroom. <laughs> <laughs> and they did I love thing. that scene. I love that scene where they split a popsicle and they mm-hmm. got all like, flustered because it was an indirect kiss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Uh, I have one more I can think of that I, I really enjoyed. And tell that, me, tell me right now. That would be in Zom One Hundred. Mm-hmm. There's a a scene where uh, the main character Akira gets to confront his boss again. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That was a really good. Like it was. I think I like got two episode little arc, but like that whole little arc was. Honestly, like if you just had to watch two episodes of the show, I'd recommend just those two. Like that was yeah. it was great. Yeah. I, I remember that in the manga. It was yeah. uh, cathartic. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now, uh, uh, an award that we all uh, are so excited for, and that is score slash OST. Yes. Oh, boy. Here we go. I, I don't know why you're being so cold about it, Cole. You literally create, you birthed this category yeah, you're into the progenitor I just birthed, of this category. Yeah. I am the progenitor of many things that some <laughs> consider all those to children. be <laughs> unnatural. unnatural. Um, <laughs> I'm going to go with uh, Mushoku Tensei for my score slash OST. Uh, mm-hmm. Again, I watched Slice of Life and that was the only like fantasy-ish show that had like a, a nice, mm-hmm. you know, fantasy I'd, ost i'd say it's not a bad bad pick it's no 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 it's, it's, it's a good pick show. it's a good pick uh, it's just maybe the not the most inspired pick it's it's yeah. maybe sometimes the right answer is staring you right in the face mm-hmm. yeah and this is a in, tricky one too because it's kind of like it's a little more subjective right mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and yeah, you know what Jay? cole i i think that your answer is so great that Thank i have you. to i have to double it and say the musho oh. tensei is my ost Man, what the hell? Season. Man, that was my thing. That was <laughs> yeah. my thing this week. That was the thing I was I was I was putting all of my, my all of your effort personality into? into was <laughs> that I would have the Mushoku Tensei OST. Well, that was, was your whole, whole personality this whole week. This whole week, all week, even at work, I was yeah, walking around yeah. thinking I was hot stuff. You know, yeah. I got hey. this hot cake. <laughs> yes, it's only mine. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Michael? Oh, oh, me? I have this hot take here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, my uh, OST score, whatever you want to call it, musically diddlies uh, Music- of the season. Musicality. Yes. My direction in the musical sense for the season will go to a little program known as Bleach Thousand Year Blood War Arc Part mm. 2. Why do you sound like mm. Snape? I- Mm. <laughs> Join me in my dungeon for 50, potions. Thousand points from Gryffindor. <laughs> and then Dumbledore just gives him fifty-one thousand back. <laughs> yeah, Harry, yeah. I like your glasses. Fifty thousand points. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, uh this honestly, I didn't have a good answer for this one, and I, I kind of just went with the one I kind of stuck out to me the most. And mm-hmm. this show. For basically being just like shown in battle anime, the anime, mm-hmm. th- it's just so ridiculously polished that it's it's hard to uh, it's hard to not put it in this spot. If I in f- a kind of a weaker season for scores, I would say. Well, you know what? OST and score, they kind of they're they're in the background to begin with. So if it stands out to you, I feel like that's kind of justification for taking mm-hmm. it anyway. And I, do you guys include like the OP and ED in this as well? Because I sort of do. I don't. I try not to. Like those are its own things. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I. I mean, that's just me. I don't. Know I just approach. Jay. Yeah, I approach it just as like music of the show, basically. Mm-hmm. What about yeah. you, Jay? What do you um, do? I'm kind of split because I get where both of you are coming from, but for me, because we have separate categories for OP and ED, mm-hmm. I think score would just be for the music in like the show while it's going mm-hmm. on rather than the maybe an credits. insert song yeah if they use the op as an insert song mm-hmm. that could be considered Which ost they or like do how they choose to use the op in in the song would be yeah yeah how mm-hmm. the director would choose to use the op in the song mm-hmm. speaking of directors oh mm-hmm. what show had the best direction this season for you guys now you know i watched two go hands anime you know oh baby those were Is some wild rides no i'm not gonna do it i'm going with mishoku tensei for Aww. direction i mean you know like it wasn't it wasn't the most heavy action mushoku tensei season mm-hmm. uh but the action that it did have was good and it 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 it, it 
it did a good job of directing with the the character Mm -hmm. uh, interactions and i mean just think of when like rudius uh discovers that Matt, that girl with the mask, Jay Fitz. No, 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 no. With the oh, mask, the, the full yeah, mask. yeah, okay, yes, yeah. Oh, and that yeah, whole yeah. scene where he's like, yes, where he like f- freaks freaking out, out. Yeah. yeah, yeah, great. Like yeah. it, it yeah. felt very like panic attack. Yeah, and, and I was, think that was, like like very claustrophobic nice. and like mm-hmm. yeah. I I do think that that show did a really good job of knowing where to play with the camera, especially like because people were super worried because it wasn't the same director as season one. Um, mm-hmm. I think that the person who did take up the mantle did a good job of keeping yeah, the same quality. Up. Yeah, good job. Yeah, um, it's it's almost like if you didn't if you didn't know you wouldn't notice. Like it's yeah. it's pretty well just picks up where it left off. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Good but you know job. what, Cole, you said what? that um for uh score no. that you were gonna base your whole personality no. around that. This was this he was me. <laughs> guess who's back? <laughs> this was my backup. <laughs> well, well guess what? You can keep that personality because my best direction of oh. the season goes to Bungo Stray Dog season five. I mean oh. this hmm. show's direction Bones just knows what they're doing when it comes they to know direction. Bones about it. No bone. I was going to make that joke and my whole week was riding on me making that joke, Michael. Well, it's over now. It's and over. It's I mine. mean, it's like, just the way the show um, like will uh, will depict how the characters. Lo- I can't I can't get my thoughts out. Talking's hard. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Good thing we do a podcast together. Yeah, so. yeah, exactly. Um, the way that. The, the way the show depicts like the look and the vibe of uh of a scene or like um the the art style or like the um the choices of like when to add like extra boldness to the outlines and things like that like it was just so interesting so um so different from everything else I watch and I mean I'm like Cole where I watched a lot of slice of life this season aside from Ushoku mm-hmm. Tensei but this stood out to me. Nice. So. Yeah. What Bungo, stood out to you, Michael? I was just going to say Bungo kind of like lends itself well to good direction because it's a little more like artsy fartsy mm-hmm. for like a shonen anime like that. Mm-hmm. Like it has uh, that like um, monogatari thing where like it'll uh, have like a, a shot of just like words like text on the screen mm-hmm. to like. And I think that that's really interesting, like a very interesting choice. Yeah. Um, yeah. What yeah. are you getting paid by the the uh, the, the <laughs> compliment that you're making to Bungo Stray Dogs? What is this? Uh, yeah, give you um, a shirt or something. Yeah, I'm getting paid yeah. by uh, by Yen Press to compliment. Ooh, Go buy the manga. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, my direction of the season and direction's a tough one, honestly, because it's like when Jay was getting all flustered because he like had trouble spitting out what he wanted to say. Yeah. It's a hard one because it's like hard to like you see it and you kind of know it, but it's hard yeah. to actually like say this is what they're it's hard doing. To articulate well. it. Yeah. 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 Um, I thought about going Jujutsu Kaisen season two because Mappa, it's just always good direction. It's you all, you know, it's like steady, but I'm going to give it mm. to the underdog on this one. I'm going to give it to undead murder farce was the mm. best direction of this season for me because it, it's a mystery show, right? So mm. it's, it's built on, know it not knowing what's happening but the characters know what's happening and then like there's a kind of builds you up to it and the way that it's shot is kind of like a little it's interesting it's like a mix of like bungo stray dogs and monogatari kind of Mm -hmm. in like a weird way mixed with like grim's fairy tales and it's just it's super interesting and they manage to keep they manage all of the mysteries generally are like solvable right Mm -hmm. from the beginning Right. But then they like kind of and the main character lets you know it, but then they kind of like walk you through it. It's uh, just really good and very interesting to look at visually as well. So mm-hmm. nice. I'm going to go no. with that one. Yeah, no, nice. I, I think that that's a good pick, Mike. Thank you. Jay. Let's we've got one more that we'll do before the break and then we'll do a quick mailbag. Ooh, a little mailbag. Yeah. And this one is going to be best character design. Um, and I'm going to go with My Happy Marriage, I think. I just felt like the characters in that one were very clean, very nice. They had their mm-hmm. their aesthetic and their little uh, accessories and stuff like that going on. It was, it was nice. Shoujo always has nice character designs, and uh, I'll, I'll go with My Happy Marriage. I, I, I really liked how the characters looked in it. Yeah. Very pretty. All, everyone was so pretty in that show. 
I yeah. would agree. Yep. Pretty yeah. characters. Speaking of pretty characters, Jay. <laughs> Um, so your when, I, when, when, I, when I was approaching this, I was asking myself, which characters, like, if I were to just look at them on a page without, like, any context, anything, would I recognize the most? And I think, to me, it came down, it came down to two, but there was one that kind of stood above the other. Um, the first one was Mushoku Tensei. I think that, like, it really nails that fantasy, um, mm-hmm. uh, like, high fantasy vibe. Um, with kind of like its own unique twist, uh, spin on it. Um, but for me, and I think that this goes to show with how many people cosplay as these characters, um, Bungo Stray Dog season five. I mean, like all these characters just like they pop and stand out so much. Um, and they feel so, um, like maybe not realistic, but they feel so like, memorable because of their designs so I, mm-hmm. it's it's such a flashy show that like yeah, yeah. the character designs are kind of bopping too yeah like it, it, that makes sense mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. nice mike oh me hi uh okay uh let's see I, it, this usually you want this one you want to give like extra points to like a a show that did its own character design and not like took it from a manga or something mm-hmm. but there weren't that many good originals this season yeah honestly so it's pretty hard to give it to one um yeah. and the vending machine wins <laughs> the vending machine honestly uh light novels are probably closer to the anime having to adapt its own character designs because uh it's not getting like every single angle of mm-hmm. a character and it has to figure yep. that out uh on it's, the fly. it's more of a it's more of a script and less of a storyboard like manga yeah is, right yeah, yeah. But uh, the, I, for some reason, light novel characters always kind of look samey to me, mm-hmm. and I I don't know why it is, and it just kind of turns me off a little bit. I've heard vending machine thing, is not my answer. I've heard, I've heard a thing where like you can always tell if something's from a light novel because the character designs don't look as great. Yeah, they kind of just look a little more. I don't know if they just like phone it in a little more because they have to actually do more work. I don't know, right, but or maybe the manga gets big, so it has cool character designs. But my two are from two manga. And they are Zom 100, Bucket List of the Dead. I thought the character designs in that show are cool. Like, all yeah. of the characters mm-hmm. are super memorable. And it's like, and honestly, zombies, I, almost, I almost picked that too. There's yeah. a zombie shark, for goodness sake. Like, it's a cool show. Like, it, mm-hmm. it looks visually neat. And then the mm-hmm. other one I'm going to think about giving it to is Jujutsu Kaisen Season 2 again. Yeah. I, I can't. Yeah. And hear me out on this one a little bit because we're in a season two you. of a manga. <laughs> So I feel a little like dirty even putting it here, Mm -hmm. but they took a bold choice to change the way the characters look for season two. They, they made the lines a lot thinner and made them a look a lot like prettier. And I think Mm -hmm. it really works a lot. I think it's a Mm -hmm. lot more modern than if you look, if you look at a still from Jujutsu Kaisen season one and a still of Gojo from season two, they're like Mm -hmm. completely different looking and it's, it's very interesting. I mean, the characters were already so pretty in that show to begin with. Mm -hmm. I mean, you had, you had Gojo. Yes. Gojo is pretty boy. He's a pretty boy. You mm-hmm. had uh, Nobara. Mm-hmm. And that's it. Those are the only two very pretty people in that show. Yeah. There's a few others. There's a few others. Uh, what's her name? I don't Maki? know. It's been a while. Maki. Oh, Ma- yeah. I like Maki. Yeah. Yeah. Maki. The Zenons, yeah, she's, yeah. She's, got the, she's got that, you know, step on me. Yeah. <laughs> she did. did, did. <laughs> I, I, I was she dancing would. around it. But yeah. <laughs> Cole, if you were a member of the Zenin clan, she would step on you and more. There's mm, also a freaking mm. panda bear that stands on two legs. Yeah, I guess that's a pretty cool character panda, design. There's, that's and he cool. turns into like a weird monster thing. Anyway, yeah. Mike, you gotta pick one. You I can't have pick to pick two. one of these. Jujutsu Kaisen has great character designs, but I'm gonna give it to the newcomer, I think. I'm gonna give it to Zom. Just because like, I don't know, yeah. it's a little more bombastic, a little more, mm. when I think cool it's character fun. designs, it's more fun. It's kind of yeah. where I'm going with it. And I'm going to give it to the underdog. I'm going to give it to Zom. Please finish. Cole, why do you keep drafting shows that don't finish? This is <laughs> torture. This show is great. Um, yeah. yeah. Also, it has a zombie shark creature in it. And You already said you that. that. I know, yeah. but how often do you get a zombie shark in anime? Like ever. <laughs> Yeah, never. If I had I've a nickel for every time there was a zombie shark in an anime, I'd have one def- nickel. Def- if I had a nickel for every time, that- it's time for the mailbag. <laughs> that was a great joke Mike just told. Um, anyway, we we're in the mailbag. Did you? Just we're talk only going to do one mailbag. <laughs> what? 
you were talking over the drop that you clicked already. What are you talking little about? little boy. Okay. What drop? Go. No, you told a fantastic joke, a great joke that made me laugh. That was your joke. Did, did I put oh. the drop over top of your great joke? Yeah. Oh, darn. Oh, I'm yeah. sorry. Darn. Can you tell it again? No. Okay. Uh, Super Mexi sent us a Patreon priority mailbag. Wee woo wee woo. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, he, he asked, what's your anime main character Mount Rushmore? So four main characters that you would put up on your Mount Rushmore. Oh, dang. That's a tough one. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean... I'm going to I'm going to go I think a little bit with historical aspect and just my personal enjoyment. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm going to go I'm going to go Goku. Mhm. I know. It's That's crazy. why I'm actually stunned that you would go Goku. It's crazy. But I mean yeah. go I mean hey, like no, how I, many of us how many of us watched anime because we watched Dragon Ball Z and like You might the early be on mine too. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go Shinji cuz Shinji's my boy. Yeah. And he's sad. He's looking sad, you know, cuz that's yeah. his that's his mood. Um, do you guys want to go? Cause I'm, I'm. St- oh, <laughs> Sailor Moon! I'm gonna go Sailor Moon. Mm-hmm. Which one? Like, sa- like Usagi. Usagi, yes. Yeah, okay, Sailor yes. Moon, like the I, titular I Sailor Moon. The There's show. only one Sailor Moon. Okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> um. Okay. Someone else go. Cause I'm, <laughs> she, I'm Sailor thinking. Moon should have been in the best drip. Uh tournament oh, by the way yeah, there's not enough sailor been. moon representation in jay's yeah. by the way in our discord jay's been hosting these like tournaments where we're like fighting to the death to determine who has the most drip <laughs> or what the best song right now it's the best song and it's gonna it's take i think three best, best OP. sorry best yeah. op yeah and it's gonna take like four business weeks to uh <laughs> come to an answer because there's a billion songs you guys yeah. you guys did like a really good job at nominating like honestly yes. it's insane how many yes it's awesome mm-hmm. yeah uh what great was i actually you. saying oh yes that's enough. Uh, okay. Rushmore. Jay, do you have your Rushmore? Um, I think so. Uh, it's four, right? That's, yep, there's okay. four heads there. Okay. This is not Futurama. <laughs> <laughs> um, I would go Ash Ketchum because, like, Pokemon nice just, like, inspired nice. a generation. Um, Kaneda because, like, first of all, the akira slide is like, like akira oh yeah akira really like akira. well because wow. like the so the uh, akira your route slide, rush roar. yeah because the akira slide is like one of the most in or like one, one of the most yeah, like well influential used, influential yeah. moments in anime and i think like sure you're um, right like as as an influential figure let him Ka- cook mike Kanada's let him like, cook he's on yeah. to something here um <laughs> is jay coming around on akira no, it's not that Jay loves I, Akira confirmed. Yeah. Jay loves K- Akira. It's not that I love Akira. I, the way I'm looking at this is like um because Mount Rushmore is like four four figures in the states that like really made mm-hmm. the US what it is. I'm looking mm-hmm. at characters that like made anime what it is. Yeah. Um, yeah, neither of you guys name the four figures that are on Mount Rushmore by the way cuz I don't think I could. Uh, no, Abraham I Lincoln George Washington uh, is George Washington. I don't even know. I'm and assuming Thomas uh, Jefferson. Uh, I don't know. John uh, A. McDonald. Philip DeFranco. John a. McDonald's a prime minister. Oh, uh, oh yeah. <laughs> Stephen uh, Baker. Trump? Sir Wilfred Laurier. <laughs> <laughs> Pierre Justin Elliot Trudeau. Trudeau. Pierre Elliott no, Trudeau. Pierre Elliott Trudeau. Oh, Pierre Elliott Trudeau. Trudeau mania. Jean yeah. Chrétien. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Stephen Harper. <laughs> sorry. Anyway. Sorry. Yes. Yeah, Mike, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, no, Jay. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. One more. Um, um, I do I have, have a fourth more. one, but I'll more. let you go. Oh, yes. Um, my third, my third one would be Joseph Joestar because, like, Sick. I think that, um, first of all, JoJo's is like one of the most influential anime out there. Like the amount of JoJo references in other anime is unbelievable. Mm. Um. And just like, uh, I think that Joseph was kind of the start of all that. Um, when it comes to JoJo's, at least like Jonathan, it's, it's definitely of, but, yeah, yeah. He definitely made JoJo's. He's he's the granddaddy of JoJo's. He yeah, he the rush Mount Crushmore. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay. and then last one, I'd probably say, yeah, I'd probably say Sailor Moon. For the yeah, last Sailor one. Moon's a good one. Okay, that's a good pick. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of Shinji. Okay. okay. And I'm going with Atom or Astro Boy. Mm, that's a good pick the, too, Cole. The Mount Rushmore. Yeah. Okay. And then instead of Ash Ketchum, hear me out. I'm going with Pikachu 
because yeah. Pikachu's mm-hmm. kind of the face of Pokemon. I, I mean, yeah, Pikachu's the mascot. Yeah. Pikachu, Hear me out, though. Is, yeah. yeah. Clefairy. No. 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 <laughs> no. no. I know. Hear me out. No. Hear me Boo. out. Let me cook. Let me cook. No, Clefairy no, you cooked wa- enough. Clefairy was the original mascot for Pokemon before it was replaced with Pikachu. It was. See, and you cooked on the last one, and then you didn't cook very hard on yeah. the second one. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm surprised Kirito's not on your Mount Crushmore, by the way. I, Kirito's just, like, not that... Inf- like, if you look at the grand scheme of anime, Kirito's, like, not that influential. Okay. He's kind of just so there. I'm, I'm kind of approaching this a little differently. It's, like, my personal Mount yeah, Crushmore. Yeah, if I was going personal, yeah, I'd probably, like... But it'd be boring. It'd be a bunch of sad boys on mine. Yeah. <laughs> mine would just I'm be gonna, a ton of edgelords. Yeah. Yes, and they all have like hair that's slightly in their eyes. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna throw Pikachu on the list. Okay. I'm, I agree with your take that Pikachu kind of is the face. Yeah. Of this Mount Crushmore here. I know. Mm-hmm. Wild take from us. Pikachu yeah, I agree is the face with that. Of Pokemon. I'm here's, gonna go with. Here's the- my thing though. Mm-hmm. When Ash left Pokemon, people were more upset about Ash leaving than Pikachu leaving. Ah. Nobody said like, "Oh, Pikachu's it's, it's gone." It's true. It's true. And like Ash, when we, you don't, no one ever really brings up Pikachu as much as Ash. So, yeah. but I just think Pikachu looks better on a mount on this mountain that I'm building yeah. right now. So, yeah, it's, it's my mountain. I'm good. building it. Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> leave me alone. I'm next putting week, next our... week we'll 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 uh, introduce like our paper mache. Yeah, that's our that's Rushmore. our craft project for the weekend. Yeah. Oh, uh, hey, on. I've been working on crafts. I have a three D Pikachu. Oh, Pikachu. Oh, fair. Second oh, nice. face on my Mount Crushmore. I have a Pikachu somewhere behind me there. Uh, anyway, I'm going to go with the RX-72, RX-78-2 RX Gundam. I almost put Char Aznable on mine. I thought about Char Aznable, but mm-hmm. I think the Gundam itself would look better on my personal mountain. I like it. Because yeah. it's like the granddaddy of Mecha and kind of like Gundam is sort of responsible for anime. This is going to be a hot take. Bear with me. Let me cook a little bit here, boys. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Kind of a little bit responsible with adultifying anime a little bit and okay, making it I, I i didn't know where you were going it's <laughs> yeah it's kind of like it's it's brought a lot of more heavy themes and whereas mm-hmm. before like anime was like okay let's have some super robots fighting each other and stuff mm-hmm. and then gundam came along and was like no we can have war crimes involved in this and like child soldiers <laughs> and stuff and then people were awesome. like wait we can have this what wow. this is dark and interesting and like it's something to think about have you uh, ever seen the the youtube video uh, about how star wars saved anime kind of plays into that yeah yep star wars is very anime inspired right mm-hmm. yeah so well, that's why luke skywalker is kind of, going other way around <laughs> other way around yeah yeah other way around they fed into each other i know george yeah. lucas took a lot of inspiration from japanese movies and yeah it kind of fed yes. back in. i guess that's well, what i, I mean, meant like, to say yeah uh, it's very... vader has like that samurai helmet right yep mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. ralph mccrory based it on a samurai yeah. and his armor too yeah. i'm gonna throw yeah. luffy on my mountain I like Luffy. Big rubbery boy. I think he belongs in this Cole mountain. Cole likes Luffy. Wee woo wee woo. Yeah, wee woo, that's wee woo. hot take. And then my last one, I will also, me and Cole, we're just in sync. I'm going to also go with Goku. Cause yeah, I just feel like. As, as much hate as Dragon Ball gets these days, you had to be there a little bit, man. Like it, it's the reason anime is what it is. It, like all of these people I've put on my mountain are kind of a reason why anime is the way it is today, especially mm-hmm. for me. And they were heavily involved with my personal development as an anime fan. So Goku, you're on that mountain too. So Goku, Pikachu, Gundam, and uh, what was my last one? Luffy. 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 Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And just to reiterate, I had Goku, Usagi, or Sailor Moon, uh, Atom, or Astro Boy, mm-hmm. and Pikachu. There you go. And for one. me, yeah. I had uh, Ash, Ketchum, Kaneda, uh, Sailor Moon, and who was the last one? Uh, Joseph Joestar. Joseph. Nice. Yes. Very nice. good. I like our Route Mush- m- 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 Mount <laughs> Mushmores. <laughs> nice. And tune in after the break to see which Mount Rushmore wins in a fight. Uh, and to find out the rest of our nominees and winners we got a lot of we got a lot to go through here still yeah we're gonna crush yeah, we got we got we got enough we got oh, some yes. stuff but this is these are the exciting ones after the break mm-hmm. yeah after this mm, break break, break. Oh, <laughs> 
Cool. So. Knock, knock. Who's there? Boo. Boo hoo. Don't cry. It's just a joke. <laughs> Welcome back to the Anime Entertainment Podcast. It's time <laughs> to finish off the awards. These are the fun awards. These are the ones that people have been waiting for. These are the awards that we put on black collared shirts. These are the These big are the awards. Boys. These are the awards where I play too cool to put on a black collared shirt. Um, so I'm sticking with the Cole, same collared shirt. These are kind today. of a big deal. Mm. Mike, shut your mouth and tell it, me. It is shut. Okay, uh, I'm going. Let's 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 do one an award. Let's award things to these awards. What ever? What say you? Ever the host, Cole. Wonderfully done. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is kind of our penultimate, not our penultimate, penultimate would be second to last. Uh, this is kind of the quintessential, that was the word I was looking for, award mm-hmm. for the Anime Protagonist podcast. It's the OP of the season, gentlemen. Ooh. Oh my dear God. Oh my golly gee whiz. Oh, oh geez. Here oh, we, we go. Like a, OPs. A there was sure some OPs this season, but there can be only one, in my opinion, anyway. Uh, and I am going to go with an OP that I I really enjoy. It, it's a slow burn. Mm-hmm. It's a slow burn, but when it drops, it's it's probably one of the most artistically gorgeous OPs mm. in a while. And for that, I'm going with my happy marriage. The drop at that point where yeah. it like turns the colors yeah. turn and it's like she turns and starts running. Ooh, ooh, mm-hmm. beautiful, mm-hmm. beautiful op. I really I feel, like. I it. feel like the beginning of that op starts off kind of like you tune out a little bit, and then by the mm-hmm. end you're like, wait, what's going on? I, yeah, I like you're it. You're like, like oh yeah, 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 this is nice. You just kind of like perk up. Nice yeah, op. Mm-hmm. Yeah, cool. I remember yeah. you I showed me that op um, mm-hmm. when we were hanging out, and you were like, give it a minute. And I was yeah, like, okay. just let it, let it, you kind of do. Cook. Yeah, you have to let, let it, it cook. cook. Yeah. Let it simmer so, a little bit. So, like, I was like, all right, I'll let it cook. And then it gets to like that point you were talking about. And I was like, okay, I see you. Yeah, I get it. I, I get, get it. it. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's a nice shoujo one. It's not action packed or anything. It's just I, I I enjoy the colors. I'm a I'm a sucker for that color palette, the pinks mm-hmm. and the blues mm-hmm. and the, the pastels. It, it, it wouldn't be it won't be my anime or my op of the season just for that like same reason. Like it's just mm-hmm. a little too shoujo y yeah. for me. Like I like shoujo, but the ops yeah. kind of don't generally do much for me. That shoujo op style. So yeah, no, yeah. I mean it's what you're fair. Saying these true. are these are subjective. Yeah. These are yeah. subjective. Now, Jay, why don't you give us your objective op of the season, so that we can fight you over it? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, there were a lot of good ops this season. Um, yes, there were. Yeah. Yes. Um, I really liked uh the Zom 100 op. Um, uh the Bungo Stray Dogs op. Like I love that like very beginning of the op. Like with the colors and everything and then there's like this one shot that like match cuts one character into another and it's like seamless um the Mashoku Tensei OP is really good I love like um that uh like when Rudy's like walking through the halls of the school and it's like showing the different uh parts of his life that led him to where he is Mm -hmm. um the symbolism of like there is a Mushoku Tensei OP as well now too yeah Mm -hmm. it is the one and only yeah. Um, but for me, when it comes to, uh, the best OP of the season, I'm looking for something well-directed. I'm looking for something that also tells a story. And I think that this mm-hmm. OP told me a story. That was the OP to Hori Mia Peace. Ooh, this one nice told a very, I mean, it told the story of the show, basically, um, with, with like a very interesting metaphor from Miyamura's perspective of how he was like trapped in a box and then there's like a ton of box uh there's like this box motif throughout the op and like yeah. i i in really... a boxing ring he's <laughs> driving a box car yeah yeah um <laughs> just threw jay for a loop there <laughs> but no no the, um and the song just really fits the show um it's called Sh- Shiawase, which I believe means happiness. Um, mm. I think it means box. <laughs> Megalobox? That was that yeah. was so lame. That's what I, I that's what I deal in, baby. Lameness. No, that's a good choice, Jay, honestly. They yeah. and there definitely were some good OPs this season. Mm-hmm. There were so, 
I'll get into mine. Yeah, why don't you tell us? Okay, why don't you tell us? Why don't you tell us what your OP of the season was, Michael? I was was giving Jay a little bit of time to breathe. I didn't know if he had more to (gasps) say. He's breathed. Okay, I can go. Listen. (sighs) Uh, My happy marriage definitely stood out. Mashoku Tensei definitely stood out too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But not enough for me. Mm. I'm going to go with one of these three OPs. <laughs> it's going to be either Zom 100, okay. Dystopia, okay. Song of the Dead O. That's let's, OP slaps, man. Ladies and gentlemen, let's discover Michael choosing his OP of the season together. Because he's <laughs> narrowed it down to three. He's and I'll tell three. you right now, he hasn't picked one. <laughs> But we're going to learn. I together. actually, you know what? I have crossed this one out, actually. But so far, I've been doing exactly as Cole says. You know me so well. This is my st- restaurant strategy that I usually employ as well. Mm, flip a coin. Basically, just, you know, in the moment when, when the pressure's on, you know what you know what you want. Mm-hmm. You put some options yeah. in front of you, and then you know what your heart wants. Yeah. Um, my heart Psalm 100, on. Song of the Dead. Great OP. Mm, but it's not my OP of the season. It's just not. Mm-hmm. It's yep. it's it's nice and colorful. It's got a good song, but it just it falls flat on some note, and I don't know exactly it's, what it is. It's very cinematic. I felt, um, but like it didn't really do much more than than that. Let's yeah, tear this. That, let's maybe, tear this one apart after. Maybe like, it's that it didn't tell a story like Jay said as much. Like it's yeah. just a little more of like a cool song with a cool visual. Um, Bleach Thousand Year Blood War arc did definitely tell a good story. And it did have cool visuals. The song is where it lacked a little bit for me, so I'm not going to go with that one either. I mm. yeah, I watched that one. I I feel like it was missing. So like a lot of shonen anime have that like crescendo where like it breaks down into like a big climactic, well animated fight scene. And I don't mm-hmm. think the soapy really had that. It sort of tells. It's one of those ones where it like tells the whole story of the season in the op. Yeah, and there kind of isn't that. Yeah, yeah, you're you're right, basically. Um, my, I guess you could probably guess at this point what my OP of the season actually is. It is. Do you want to guess, Jay? Um, is it the OP to uh the um uh the girl who sits next to me forgot her glasses? No, mm. that's no, a good guess. Not. Is it the uh, opening from the original ni- early '90s Power Rangers, <laughs> Mighty Morphin Power Rangers? Mm, I thought about that one for this it, summer 2023 anime awards. Yes. Is it uh, the OP to X arm? Mm. Is, is it the X files opening? An, an OP. Sh- you guys just shut up. Shut your lips. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's the Jujutsu Kaisen OP for season oh, two. I should have guessed that I one. Guessed the that. first, the first OP I will clarify oh, from the flashback darned. arc. And it's, it's the one that was also my song of the season. Where our blue is. But uh, yeah, that's I, I just I like the the visuals in it. I like the vibes in it. I like the song in it. It kind of is just like a, a hit on from all aspects. And Mappa just knows how to do a good OP for me. They just something. It's like I'm directing OPs over there. Like they just say we need to build this OP for Michael, and it will be a good one. And that's what happened. So that's where I'm going. On. Uh, Undead Murder Farce had a great OP too. FYI. It did have a really good OP. Yeah. Okay. I just want to say. One thing, because you guys kind of talked about uh, the uh, ZOM 100 OP. I like the ZOM 100 OP. Great song. Mm-hmm. I don't like that they use so much footage from the show. Yeah. To I be yeah. honest. Yeah. Like, it was like, a little too reliant on, on just scenes from the show. Mm-hmm. And uh, somet- I'm not saying that it was like a lazy choice. Uh, I'm just, it, it kind of, it, it no, I, takes I agree it back a little you. bit. Maybe, maybe no, that's I, another good point, actually. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I and, agree and with you, Cole. I'm, maybe we're just spoiled as anime fans because OPs can be so creative that that's kind of a down detriment def- to that one. We definitely are because, like, mm-hmm. when you, have you when seen I the free run OP? Sorry. No, I haven't, I haven't yet. No, not yet. It's not so yet. good. We'll, I will have well, my uh, have theirs. So yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, let me <laughs> let me just say some of my uh, 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 honorable mentions. Uh, the cat, big cat. Big mm-hmm. cat. That's a fun OP. Kind of weird when they're driving the car. It's a little little jank, but it's yeah, fun. It's, it's okay. Gohan's yeah. doing crazy stuff. Uh, and honestly, uh, one that grew on me a lot, despite the crazy Gohan's camera flipping around, doing weird, crazy things, was the, the uh, Glasses Girl one, too. I really... They went full Gohan's, full send, Cole, what full... The f- I liked it. It was fun. It was nice. I, it was I said it as a joke. It was cute. I like the last shot in it where Mie is like in that like big like water thing. It's like, oh, that's 
I feel like I I've had a heard very nice say shot. This is a good OP, actually. So, I, I mean, it had everything I hate about Gohans with the weird mm-hmm. camera tracking and the over reliance on on CG. But something about it, it just it no, scratched jo- my itch. Joking aside, it was fine. Yeah, it was fine. OP. I think Cole, yeah. you might actually like Gohans, and you're just like in mm. denial about it. We'll no, see you I, later I, on. I have a feeling something yeah. is going to happen. I, you know what? I can't even argue against it. Uh, what about EDs? EDs, Ooh, EDs, gentlemen. EDs. EDs. This is a weak crop. This was a weak crop. Allow me to harvest this weak crop. Yes. Uh, I'm going with uh, the big big old cat is so sad he's depressed. Um, I'm going with that one because I'm a sucker for when EDs go kind of like off off model a little bit. Mm-hmm. This one's kind of cartoony. It mm-hmm. it reminded me of the uh, uh, the the Mega Me one from last season a little bit. Not quite as as hand drawn cartoony, but it had those same vibes. It just kind of yeah. tells a little story of uh, Saku Saku, like very is Saku you know, the she, cat. No, Saku is the girl. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Named after my favorite Montreal Canadian of all time, Saku Koivu. Doubt. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Doubt. No, I'm not even joking. Saku Koivu has a special place in my heart forever. No, the, uh, the, it's the person's named after Saku Koivu. No, he's not named after Saku no way. Koivu. Yeah. Uh, but uh, she's, <clears throat> you know, she's off somewhere. She's uh, had a few too many adult beverages, and the cat's got to go pick her up and carry her home. It's cute. It's nice. It's all oh, in a snow globe, too. Are th- is she an adult in this anime? Yeah, she's a oh, full on like oh, she's like twenty eight. Nice. I like she's twenty eight. I like when waifus are close to my age. And she was a good waifu, I think. Spoilers, maybe for later. We'll, we'll see. have to see. We'll, we shall mm-hmm. see. Uh, yes. And then uh, I'll I'll touch on some other some other ones after. Okay. Uh, after mm-hmm. we go through these, so Jay, why why don't you tell me what your ED ED of the season for sure of the season is? There were like two that I was kind of <laughs> okay. flip flopping with. I've picked one. Don't worry, Cole. Um, no, no, but, I know. I thought you yeah. were gonna do the joke again. There's there was <laughs> like mm, two. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it took me for a loop. There were some good right. OP or some good EDs yeah. this season. No, he, he um, teased you with that for yeah. sure. Um, yeah. the first the first one that like I almost went with was the Horimiya ED. Mm-hmm. Um, I really liked how like the OPs Miyamura and the EDs Hori. Um, and it's like their um their respective um perspectives. Um, respective perspectives. Yeah, Whoa, respective bars. perspective. <laughs> Um, tune in for Jay's rap in episode 100. Yeah, I can't wait. Yeah. Can't wait. Uh, oh, by the way, I'm writing a rap for episode 100, so stay tuned for oh. that. Um, oh, we know. <laughs> well, the listeners don't all know, so I want to let them know. Um, if they were on our Discord, they would know. Come if they Discord. were, that is true. I made the announcement in our Discord. Yeah, links down there. Yeah, or on our website, anypropod.com. Um, but my ED of the season was an ED that had a very interesting style um did a good job of being that like dry off thing from like Mm -hmm. going into the pool of the show Mm -hmm. um and had a really good song and that ed is the ed to boongo stray dog season five man jay's got a big boongo guy he's reading boongo on the break too yeah boongo was his name name yes Mm -hmm. yeah very good. Excellent pick, Jay. I think. I don't know. I haven't seen it. I haven't seen it either, so I can't. I, <laughs> excellent commentary. Excellent. I, too, have not seen it. <laughs> what about you, Michael? I have, have also you after the break. narrowly the seen this op- ED. <laughs> I have probably seen it by now as of listening, but I'm also not 100% sure. Uh, Mike, what's... Right after we recorded. Yeah, yeah. Jay yeah. will... Jay, Jay's getting the chair ready. Yeah. We're going to have to go watch it. <laughs> double, double, we're going to be like back-to-back duct tape. <laughs> no, you're going to be sitting on your lap. Oh, nice. Yeah. yeah. So nice. <laughs> you know what else is nice? My ED that I chose. I'm just going to come right out and say it. Mm-hmm. I chose the ED for Jujutsu Kaisen Season 2. Jesus. Guys, come on. Mike, did you watch anything else aside from Jujutsu yeah, Kaisen? Some variety. I watched... Uh, I wrote on my list here all the shows I watched. They're at the bottom. I can't. I almost showed my list of all my winners. I can't do that. <laughs> They're written on here, though. But, uh, yeah, I did watch quite a few shows. Uh, more than my usual, I even say. But, honestly, this... I was struggling for the ED one. 
because mm-hmm. I just didn't really see many that I liked that much. And yeah, honestly, like it just this is the only one that even it. I don't like when EDs are just kind of like a static visual or just like a couple scrolling things for usually. Mm-hmm. And this one at least had like original animation for the ED and it was like yeah. kind of like it, mm-hmm. for most of the shows this season, it would have been better than their OPs. So I gave that's pretty much why this one won. Well, Jujutsu so Kaisen uh, continues its streak of, of good EDs. Mm-hmm. Um, I just want to draw attention to two EDs that I found very weak this season. Mm-hmm. Uh, one is an obvious weak ED, and that is uh, the girl who like, forgot her glasses. Lame. Lame, yeah. lame, lame. It's just uh, Mie walking, camera zooming in on her, and then at the end she looks at the camera and smiles. Boring. Lame. Lame. lame boo. <laughs> You know what other ED I was disappointed in, considering its OP was pretty darn good. For the first time, the show has ever had an OP. Talk and its to me. ED was weak. I like the song, but the ED, I just it didn't it didn't strike me as as anything crazy. Mushoku but Tensei? that would be Mushoku Tensei. Yeah, yeah. Uh, kind of a weak ED. I yeah. it, it it had the problem that EDs have where it was just pictures. Yeah, it was just pictures. That's, that's like what I wanted. Some, is, mm, yeah, I want yeah. some animation. You know, I'm watching anime. It just feels lazy just, here's a song and some pictures the credits go away basically i mean yeah. it, it can be yeah. done nicely but it, it just i don't know not this yeah. time yeah it didn't no. really do much like considering considering what they could have done especially considering the arc mm-hmm. yeah it's a bit of a letdown yeah because yeah. you know what it, a, a picture like a basically a slideshow with a good song can actually go a long way and i think yeah. i a couple seasons ago i did pick the classroom of the elite season two ed as a winner i think and that's literally just static images with yeah. a song no you, so mm-hmm. yeah yeah uh does anyone else have anything mm. honestly no nah, not really no, like yeah it's kind of a weak zom was okay my happy marriage was okay what was even the my happy marriage ed it's kind of like remember. a it's pretty forgetful, and Netflix Netflix skips it automatically. Yeah, for you, so. Netflix, <laughs> stop that! Come on, yeah. you got to understand, anime fans. Uh, we like supporting characters. We do, we do, we do like supporting characters. Mm-hmm. Uh, in fact, I have a supporting character I would like to bring to your guys's attention. Tell me, Lord Cole, who's your favorite supporting character? And my supporting character for this season shall henceforth be known <laughs> as. <laughs> Oh, what did she go by in the show? Can you, oh, you can you get the scroll out, Cole? <laughs> no, Sylphie. What did she? Fitz. 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 I like Sylphie. Sylphie slash Wait, Fitz. Yeah. Fitz is Sylphie. <laughs> Whoa. That's not even a spoiler. That's no, it's like not even a spoiler. It's in, spoiler. It's in like episode zero. <laughs> I know. The only person who doesn't know is Rudy. Yeah. And I guess he's, everyone he's a else. A moron. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah I'll, I'll go with uh, Sylphie. She she was uh, I don't know entertaining. How she yeah. was just so bashful. It's funny how the most recent girl in Mushoku Tensei is best girl to me. Yeah. <laughs> so it just, whoever, I'm like I'm like a like a puppy. It's just who whatever's right in front of me is the most interesting <laughs> thing. You're like a revolving it's, it's true, door. Though. Yeah. yeah. Uh, no. So did you also Mushoku- like Sarah when she was in the show? I like Sarah. I like Sarah before her. Yeah. I liked uh, yeah. Roxy when she was in. Yeah. yeah. No. It's just. Yeah, who, huge whoever's Ares, in front of me. Huge Eris fan until she huge left. Huge Eris fan. I mean, honestly, pr- I'd probably go Sylphie. I, I like that. Yeah, that vibe. Yeah. But, but, uh, yeah. <clears throat> um. Anyway, this isn't about best girl in, yeah. in Mushoku Tensei. Hmm. Uh, it is about supporting characters yes. this season, Jay. Yeah. Um. My supporting character of the season, um, is not from Mushoku Tensei. What? Get out of here. Get out of my town right now. <laughs> um, it is from a show that I talked about earlier. Um, is it from Bugo Stray Dogs? It is not. Oh. Um, oh my goodness. It is from Mike's a having show... a bite of a hot dog. <laughs> hot dog time. Mike, you enjoying <sighs> that hot dog? Oh. oh. Yeah, it took me off. I, well. Go on, Jake. <laughs> okay. It is from a show I like to call St. Cecilia and Pastor Lawrence. Oh, it's been a while. It's been oh. a while. Hello, old friend. Hello, old friend. <laughs> old friend. <laughs> um, my uh, supporting character of the season is Abel. Um, mm, yes. Mm, yes. Obviously. Just a good character supporting these two that um, uh, don't know how to do the romance thing. But mm-hmm. they're trying. 
Sounds okay. like me. And he has and and the main character has no idea that she even likes him. Oh boy. Classic. Yeah. Classic. But he's a good uh, bro. He's a good bro. Speaking of good bros, how's it going, Jay? It's going well. Okay, Mike, your turn. <laughs> oh, thank <laughs> you. <What? laughs> thank you. Um a lot of good supporting characters this season. <laughs> In fact, I almost went with Fitz, but mm, mm. ever since the debacle where you guys Mike, y- yelled at me for picking Mike, a you, main character as a, sh- a supporting character. No, oh, you're, you, made, you're sensitive. you made a main character protagonist. Whatever it was. I go to Annie List and I follow that as my guide of what a supporting and a main is. And okay. Annie List lists Fitz as a as main a character. Man. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I said, nay, nay, not today. I will not be made fun of this day. <laughs> Bars. <laughs> so, Mike, do you want to take over for the rap? No, absolutely not. <laughs> Mike's got a verse I'm, coming I up. A, I have a. I'll do the. Uh, you know how like the raps in anime always have like a, a singing part as well. I'll do the singing chorus part, and then you do the rap part. I. How do you know I wrote a singing wait. chorus part? Because of course you did. <laughs> I'll sing it in the style of um, mm, Ado, if you know who that is. The singer who played Uta in One Piece okay. Film Red. Can oh, I anyway. have? Yeah. Can yeah, I have yeah, a? Yeah, can yeah, I have a verse character. where I sing in the style of Vitas? Yes. <laughs> okay. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mike. So, Mike. Who did you pick? I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Stop derailing me. Okay. I go to the. I go to the Annie List. Blah blah blah. My supporting character of the season, not Fitz. It will be Toji Fushiguro. Will be my supporting character of this season, because I just felt like man, he was vibes. Uh, Jujutsu Kaisen, Megami's dad. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I thought he had like such a cool. He basically like he influenced the season a lot. He had a really solid story arc, and like it came to a sol- solid collu- solid conclusion that I I I felt like you you were satisfied with his role in the show, and he he did play like a major part. Plus, he is like a cool character. It's very interesting as well. Like, there's a reason why there's so many thirst traps for this man and why, like, literally what, when this was airing, there was, like, TikToks about how to get the Fu- Toji body on, like, <laughs> bodybuilding TikTok and stuff. Because he's, like, he's a cool supporting character. Like, he definitely mm. easily Mike won this TikToks one for me. Up, for sure. Yeah. Look at me. I look just like him. Yeah. yeah. I have no idea who that character is. It's been a while since I read that that arc of Jujutsu Kaisen. So. It's been a while you know since you saw I, him. I did anything Jujutsu Kaisen. <laughs> Mike, I'm I'm just wondering about Mushoku Tensei. I just uh did have you caught up on Mushoku Tensei? I'm uh episode 10. Are you d- dubbing it? Uh, yeah, yeah, I was dubbing. Oh, okay, it. that's why. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Uh any other supporting characters that you guys were uh caught your caught your attention? I liked Sarah speaking of supporting characters. I liked Sarah her. Was Sarah good. was interesting. Yeah, yeah. Rudius did her wrong. I mean, they both kind of they were both kind of dumb. Yeah. 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 <laughs> they, yeah. Jay and I talked about this off air. Uh, yeah. I mean, Rudius was just a dumb kid and she yeah. kind of just. Yeah. It, it kind of makes sense, right? Yeah. Um, the whole basically supporting cast of Bleach is awesome because like what Bleach does well is the fights and the characters. Mm. So all mm. the characters are cool. And, and the art. And Bleach the is art. Good like art. It's, it's easily like the most stylish of the three, I'd say. Yeah, in terms cool. of like fights it's just cool it's the coolest of the three for sure the big three and what's uh, yeah, cooler this- than being cool coolest yeah that's right that's that's, that's, that's how it goes yeah yeah <laughs> we'll get it right one of these times yeah uh what about other supporting characters you guys have any mm, honestly oh, i watched oh. too much slice of life again like slice of life doesn't have supporting characters because it's the two and then like everyone else is just i don't even think they put eyes on half the characters <laughs> Um, no, so, so much money. Annie list uh, lists them as supporting characters, so I guess they count basically the friend group aside from Hori and Miyamura from Hori Mia. I'd call uh, that supporting characters, yeah. Yeah, I they're, guess. They're, they're kind of like, I, I wouldn't know which one to put because they each kind of like have like a couple, ep- a couple yeah, moments. Yeah, no, I'm not, I'm not yeah. saying like any specific one, but like just yeah. them If you could put general. them as a whole, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I see what you're saying for sure. Mm-hmm. Um. Mm-hmm. I do actually have another one that I, I want to bring up. And uh, which one of you hasn't read Rent a Girlfriend? Me. Is it Cole? Okay. 
In this season of Rent a Girlfriend, they introduced the streamer girl. I can't remember her name. Oh, yeah, I know who you're talking about. She's got like that blue streak in her hair. Yeah, yeah. she's a lot yeah. of fun. She's a good supporting character, and she actually like is working to like move the plot along. It's yeah, she's a good girl. Excellent. Yeah. She is the the audience stand-in. <laughs> yeah. She literally she, like she's literally yeah. the audience stand-in. Cole. No, mm. Honestly, yeah, she's she's great. I really enjoyed her a lot. Later, so later on the manga, like if they ever have a misunderstanding, she'll be the one to like smooth everything over. And be like, good, stop it. She's the post-it note of this plot. Yeah, basically. And I should explain what I mean by that. Often there's like plot contrivances that can just be solved if somebody left like a note. Mm -hmm. You know, okay. like, yeah, sorry, yeah. I did this. And then yeah, like yeah. The, the plot wouldn't happen. So she's that. Kind um, of, yeah. She like yeah. basically tricks them into like doing things together. It's kind of funny because she's yeah. like just like a normal person. She's like, obvious you guys like each other. Just do it already. Mm -hmm. uh, Minnie is her name. That's mm, yeah. yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. Minnie Mouse. Uh what about main characters? Ooh, the big hitters. Ooh. The big hitters. The big boys are here. A lot and of good main gonna... characters this season. Hmm? A lot of good main characters this season. Mike, that's so overused. There's a few good main characters this okay. season. And one <laughs> of them is my main character. And I hate to like pick from a show the same show twice in a row, but I'm going with Rudius. Yeah. I mean yeah, it's hard. Rudy's so complicated and yeah. and interesting to me love him like love him or hate him, him. Yeah. yeah he's just a well-written weirdo yeah and i i love the show for that yeah uh, he's the I audience stand-in for sure <laughs> i hope not <laughs> to be honest <laughs> yeah uh yeah he's he's uh he's got a lot of faults yeah. and uh i think that i find characters way more compelling and way more interesting if they're flawed mm -hmm. uh, for sure i agree for sure. I agree. So, that, yeah, I'm going with Rudius. He's he's basically somebody's got to beat Rudius off of the. Uh, <laughs> somebody's got to beat Rudius off of the hill that is the the best main character. Whenever there's a Mushoku Tensei season. Yeah, he's he's such a compelling protagonist. He really is. Yeah. 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 Jay, what's yeah. what's your answer? Uh, which is why Rudius is not my main character of the season. <laughs> you did that already. You did that already. <laughs> Um, yeah. I'm going to have to go with a character that, um, I think a lot of people might agree with, especially considering the season. Um, I don't think the two of you might agree, but that's okay. I doubt it. Yeah. Um, You'd probably hate this pick. my yeah, yeah. main character of the season this. goes to Dazai from Bungo Stray Dogs. Oh, oh Jesus. Dazai's awesome. And I, I heard this is a good season for him too. It's actually. a really good season for Dazai. Yeah. Yeah, he pretty much kind of makes that show. To be he honest, kind of care. He he yeah. has a very very bad back from carrying this show on top of it. Yes, he definitely yeah. does. But um, the stuff he's done this season, and just like the um, like the battle between him and Fyodor, oh oh, mm -hmm. so good. It's funny because he's kind of got like Gojo Satoru Gojo syndrome, and they have like the same voice actor in dub too. Yeah, where he's just like kind of carries the show because he's like kind of overpowered. Yeah, and then like. The whole thing kind of revolves around him, but not really. It's yeah. like, like yeah. so um, the way this arc started, th because like the author knows that like if he were involved in the show, everything would stop. So like the arc that the show's currently in starts with him getting arrested. So he can't do anything. They even have kind of like a similar power too. Yeah. It's weird. That's I have interesting. No idea what's, I have no idea what's happening. His whole power is that he can neutralize other people's powers. Oh, so like they can't yeah. use their powers on them. Basically, maybe I have that power. Yeah. I just can't control it. Yeah. The whole world is actually super powered, but I just can't control. Oh, it could be. Yeah, my that's that's a good pick, though, power. Mm -hmm. Good but pick. But yeah, uh, Mike. I'm assuming. Oh yes. What Me, is your Mister Mister Mikey? Uh, listen, there's a good show that came out this season called Jujutsu Kaisen. It's got a oh, couple of great main characters. <laughs> Jesus Christ! But I'm not going to pick one of them for mine. Thank God. There's another great show that came out with another fantastic main character. Mm -hmm. Controversial main character. Mm -hmm. Mishoku Tensei. Rudius is a great main character, mm -hmm. but he's not my best main character. Okay. My best main character of the season. And what I like yes. to look for in these is I like to have a character who is like central to the plot and the whole thing revolves around them. That's, I, don't, mm -hmm. I don't know why, but for me, a main character, the whole thing has to revolve around them. That's sure. cool. 
Which is why, like, I couldn't put, like, a, a Miyamura or something in here. Because, like, mm-hmm. it kind of, it does, but it doesn't. You know what I mean? Like, the world would mm-hmm. go on and there's other bits without him. So I'm going to go with Akira Tendo from Zom 100, the main character there. Mm-hmm. Just because I felt okay. like his whole, his whole, like, story was very interesting. And, like, he, he, I was very interested to see where he went. And I kind of sympathized with him and just kind of, like, yeah, as a main character, he was very compelling, and that's why I'm going with him. And I felt I like, like that. Uh, yeah, he's a little pick. bit of a, a bit of a more dark horse pick. Yeah, uh, yeah. I, I'm I like his I like his vibes. Yeah, yeah. I like how he's just so optimistic despite this horrible situation that they find themselves in. He's he's. I like it. I yeah. like that pick. Yeah. Good pick. Yeah. Good pick. Any Good any other pick. main characters? <sighs> well, I, mean, I had the same issue that I've had the whole time. I that? I watched I watched Glasses Girl and I watched. Mm. Uh, the big cat and it's like nah, they're not that compelling of characters so yeah mm-hmm. that's kind of why i'm stuck with with mushoku tensei uh, as, yeah. yeah as much as i liked Riza, I, I can't give her best main character i yeah. shouldn't say stuck with it i i stand by what i said about rudius he is one of like if i was to pick best characters period i think he'd be up there for yeah me. it's mm-hmm. It's, it's kind of like with this season in Jujutsu Kaisen. It's like, it's one of my favorite anime. Of course, it's going to win a handful of things mm-hmm. here, right? Yeah. 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 Same Anyone with Shoku Tensei. Yeah. Um, no? No. No? <laughs> okay. Well, speaking of Jujutsu Kaisen, Gojo and Geto were both very interesting and good characters this season. It was like their whole arc. Uh, who else do I got here? Check the I, list. Checking the list of all the shows I watched. Confer. Let us see those thick, thick glasses. Honestly, honestly, another one you guys are going to roast me for. Mm-hmm, I'm but Ka- Kazuya actually had wow. a pretty good season. No, he didn't, no, he Michael. Didn't. That's terrible. He actually had a pretty That's good season. That's terrible. Turn in your card on the way out. I'm sorry. Holy. I'm sorry. Turn in your badge. You know what? I'm down. not sorry, man. He, he, he made Chizuru's dream come true, and he is a he good made, boy this season. He was actually yeah. not even that big of a creep this season. No, he made my he, dream he come true. I don't think he stalked her even once. Yeah, <laughs> which is like I doubt that. If we're going um, that route, um, Masamune was interesting. I I mentioned it earlier, but like I like the route that they're taking this show because like he's actually dating the main girl right now. <gasps> Shocking! Oh my god! Um, yeah. what, a, what a twist! So like you know, I'm happy that they went that route, and like the the direction that they're taking his character now that they're going out was mm-hmm. actually kind of interesting. Um, I don't want to go into like too many details and spoilers and that, but um, yeah, it was nice. interesting. Who dost thou wish to protect? Oh, it's time for protect energy. Uh, and this one was an easy one for me. I'm going with Mio Saimori from oh, My yeah. Happy Marriage. She needs a mm-hmm. hug. She needs to be protected. Deeply. Uh, everyone in the show just does her dirty for seemingly no reason. I really don't get it. She does get protect, though. She does get protect, and I, I appreciate mm-hmm. that. But she yes. needs mm-hmm. it still. She needs more yes. protect. Yeah, she's she's just a, a, a just a an angel who dost descend to the earth no that's that's a great pick cole honestly because yeah. like the literally the point of that show is protecting her so she mm-hmm. she has incredible protect energy mm-hmm. yeah. off the charts very, very high protect energy speaking of protect jay yes jay how can i help protect you us from your power tell us who you would protect yes um my protect energy character is uh from uh, a show that I talked about quite a bit, but not like a lot. Um, mm, mm, mm. It's a character that is like arguably an angel, arguably mm-hmm. like a literal angel in the show because she can mm-hmm. like invoke God's divine protection on people <laughs> <laughs> and <Okay>. God's wrath. <laughs> um, and that is Saint Cecilia from Saint yeah. Cecilia and Pat. She is mm, yes, she's adorable yeah. for one. Mm-hmm. And um, I will protect her at all costs. And if anything happens to her, I'll kill everyone in this room, including myself. <coughs> Whoa. <laughs> that took me off guard. Wow. Holy wow. Smoke. Jay, you're in an empty room, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> We're not there with you. Yeah. 
Uh, there's a chat room right here, actually. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> are, are you on live leak right now? Are you streaming? <laughs> anyway, my protect energy of the season, moving things along after Jay's rev- revelation there. <laughs> uh, you know what? I had I was waffling between two. Nice, gross. And nice. my winner is... Mm. Chizuru Mizuhara is my Oh my god in here. Boo. Here, here we go. To me. Listen. Boo. Listen to me. Boo. I'm booing you and I'm reading the manga. Jay, you've read the manga. This is the arc with where her like the movie stuff happens and yeah. like her grandma and stuff. Yeah. She needs a hug, man. Yeah, and, like, no, I get it. You gotta protect her. Yeah. The other one I was really wanting to protect was uh from Jujutsu Kaisen season two, of course. Blah, blah, blah. Mike bringing up Jujutsu Kaisen again. I can read Cole's thoughts here. It's okay, <laughs> though. Riko Amanai. Man, she is, Cole, anything. you might remember the girl who is supposed to replace the barrier guy. Uh, uh, that's all I'll say. She's kind of like the, the yeah. one that they're like trying to transport to meet him and he's going to merge with uh, the barrier guy who protects the world. Yeah, I'd have to. I think I, I vaguely know. I vaguely remember what you're yeah. talking about. Basically, she's like been bred to basically fuse with this guy and then not become, become like not a person anymore. Mm-hmm. And like it, it's just kind of like sad, like seeing her and then like the whole thing is about her like living her last couple days before she basically loses her basically kills herself. Mm-hmm. And then like. You just you kind of want to give her a hug and protect her because it's it's yeah. very yeah it's that's very a sad. better pick that's a better pick than who was your initial one again? Uh, Chizuru. <laughs> Honestly, I I probably would have went with her, but I knew Chizuru was going to bother you boys. So <laughs> you know what? Dig I in. respect that. Yeah. I respect. It. I respect that. Uh, I mean, of course, as far as other characters go, Mie, uh, I Mie is like yeah. God. She can barely see anything in front. Shut up, Michael. <laughs> She is, she is so cute. She is so cute. It's ridiculous. Uh, and then when she's got her glasses on and her eyes get all like big. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, Sophie. Cute. I mean, Sophie. Yeah. Yeah. yeah Sophie, I think yeah. that Sophie needs protection, yeah. uh, but she can protect herself. Too. Yeah. She's and that's kind of why she didn't win for me because like mm-hmm. she, she's strong as is. So mm-hmm. I'll go with Saku as well uh, from Big Cat. Uh, she is basically useless, but then also really good at just random things. So mm-hmm. I'll, she, she wouldn't be my protect energy, but she's, she's up there for, uh, yeah, I, I don't know. Maybe she we'll bring her up protection. in the best girl category. Possibly. Possibly. Uh, what about best boys? Ooh. Best boys. There were some good boys this season. There was some good boys. I'm looking at two of them right now. <laughs> I'm looking Me too. at two of them too. Wait, wow. sorry, I have double vision. I'm looking at myself twice. I'm looking at Saitama. <laughs> nice. Okay. Um, best boys. Who did I pick again? I don't even. Oh, <laughs> obviously, I know who I picked. Come on, guess, guess. Uh, Woodius. No. Uh, okay. The guy from the cat show. The cat. The cat. The cat. Yuki Chi is my you best would boy. Pick the cat. Yeah, he's he's awesome. He's so like disgruntled and grumpy, I but like also it. Yeah. like he does he does care about the. What's That's a good vibe. The, like, yeah. oh god. And then, but like, actually, deep down, is like, and he's protect, always yeah, like yeah. sighing at her and cackling yeah. away the <laughs> as he's cooking or whatever. <laughs> and his paws. How does he do anything? He's got paws for hands. Can All we just pause work. and talk about his hands? He doesn't have hands. He has paws. <laughs> Yeah. Neither pause. of you got the joke because I said pause. no. I no, I, I got, got it. it. Oh, we got I it. I got it, Jay. Here, I I got something for you. By the way, <laughs> Ooh, the bird, boo birds coming out during the award show. It doesn't usually happen. No. Uh, no. I'm I'm going with uh, yeah. I'm going with yeah. uh, Yuki Chi. She was uh, he was he was he's yeah. a good boy. Yeah, good boy. Yeah, and I'm a cat guy. So. Yep. And you know what? It's funny. Every time I watch that show, it's like, where's my where's Ninji? I need to go pet Ninji. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Ninji's my cat, by the way. Ninji's a Jay good boy. Go. Ninji's a good boy. Ninji, Ninji's a brat. Mm, questionable. Yeah. No, a good boy. Um, My best boy of the season comes from a show. No kidding. <laughs> that the past this or... season. Wow. Mm. He's Stunning. a good boy, boy. and a boy okay. that um, <laughs> desperately answering needed this like a friends. Politician. And I'm glad that he finally has them. Mm-hmm. Including a loving girlfriend. And my pick, that would be Miyamura from Horimiya. 
Oh, oh I thought you were going to go with your Masamune or whatever. No. I thought you were going to go with uh, Tommy from Power Rangers. Mm, yes. You know what? I was considering Tommy from Power Rangers, but um, mm-hmm. the, the biggest problem with that is that that show aired in the 90s. Yeah, it's a yeah. kind of problem here. Yeah, but Mia Mira is a good boy. You were born. <clears throat> Mia, Mia Mira is fierce competition in the best. Such boy a good boy, so pure, so innocent, so wholesome. Just great boy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Is he pure and innocent though? I mean, Uh he starts off pure and innocent, and yeah, I think Hori kind of corrupts him. Hori kind of, yeah, Hori kind of, yeah. yeah. yeah Hit yeah, me nice. harder, you need energy, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Clip yeah, that. it's weird. Yeah. <laughs> Clip that. Yeah. You know what? Hori's such a good boy that I'm also going to go Hori's with. Hori's a good boy? Sorry. Well, Miyamura's such a good boy that I'm also going to go with Miyamura. Well, you guys my, are perverted. My good boy of the season. Because, are... again, he's such fierce competition in this yeah. category that, like, how do you. How do it's kind of like. It, it's kind of like what Cole said about Rudy. Like, when, when Hori Mia's airing that season, Miyamura's, like, at the top of the mountain. And it's yeah. kind of yeah. like, kick me off. I Actually, no. Okay. Scratch that. I'm changing. I'm scratching it out literally on the paper right now. How did <laughs> I not think of this? No, I'm going with Kyoka Kudo, the boy who saves Mio in my happy marriage. Oh, her husband. Yes. Her husband. That's a I much like that. better pick. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. He's kind of a badass. Yeah. He's he's, yeah. he's like the ultimate shoujo uh, boy. Oh, he's he's like a, a shoujo fan's wet dream for sure. Yeah, like he's, he's got the long blonde hair. He's got the he's super strong. He's like very like stoic and it kind of grumpy, but like very in soft way, in the you know? inside yeah. and like yeah. yeah, in a good way. He's very he's yeah. a hunk. He's a hunk for sure. And yeah, he's a good hunky, boy. Yeah. Hunk a hunk a hunk. He's he do be strong. He's a hunk a hunk of burning love. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. Any other mm-hmm. boys? I feel like uh, there are a ton of people yelling at, at the screen telling us to talk about Gojo. So, Mike, can you talk about Gojo oh. for two seconds? <sighs> for- Gojo's a great character. I don't know if I could describe him as best boy. He's almost unattainable, you know? He's almost you like You almost too- literally can't touch him. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I agree kind of with what Cole's saying. I It just seemed a little too... I, I don't know if you can actually put Gojo as best boy because while he comes off as like kind of goofy and silly... He's actually kind of like dark inside and he's kind of like But that's what makes him yeah. so lovable. No. Says all the, I love him. You, how <laughs> do you, says all the how Gojo do you, Someone who declares they're the strongest with like a maniacal look in their eye as they obliterate people. But I, he that's is not the very, strongest. He no, he literally is. Like he's a yeah. problem because he's that strong. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know. I, I'd almost be more inclined to go with Ghetto actually over him mm. as best boy, but I, I just don't think either of them really fit the, the caliber of best boy. They're great characters, it. but not best boys. Well, there you go, Jujutsu Kaisen fans. Good Mike boys, hates but not best boys. Mike Good 2023. Boys, but not best boy, except for that guy who Mike wants to turn his body into. <laughs> <laughs> Kyoko, Kyoko Kudo. I'm gonna grow my hair out long. Zayn is nice. making me. Yeah. Nice, very nice. good. Uh, what about? Be- oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. All right, it's time. It's time. Best, there we go. Best girl. Of best the season. girl. Best girl of the season. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. I'm going with Lois Lane for my adventures with Superman. <laughs> Hell no, yeah, JK. brother. Just kidding. I was going to go with I uh, I Mie from uh the girl i like forgot her glasses Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but then i kind of talked myself out of it and realized that truly my heart belongs to saku fukuzawa from uh the masterful cat is depressed again she's so interesting uh she first of all she's an adult which hey waifus who are adults great Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. uh something about the way like her bangs are cut is I don't know, interesting to me. And uh, she's bad at everything, but then also, like, incredibly good at some random things. Like, she's really good at work. She seems to know, like, martial arts randomly. But she can't Mm -hmm. cook. She can't clean. She's just hopeless at home. And, Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. I don't know. I like her. Good waifu energy. I like it. Yeah. Cole likes a useless waifu, so good. I don't know. I'm I am truly an enigma. You I are. cannot be pinned The down. inner machinations of your mind are an enigma. Yes. yes. Yeah. Honestly. Yeah. Jay? Um well boys, um 
to reveal best girl, I thought I'd do something a little bit different. You rap this it? is my <laughs> rap. I <laughs> I posted a GIF in our meeting chat in Discord, and I want you two to quickly go over there. Well, and I want I you to tell me screen. who my best girl is. Jay's best girl, to no one's surprise. <laughs> what? What? Uh, hold on, I can't even find it. It's in the meeting is. chat on Discord. A certain little, you know, as Cole is fond of a, either a useless girl or a mummy is going to step on him, Jay mm-hmm. is fond of a certain um, race oh. of fantasy uh, characters. <laughs> why, why have would I, ears. I didn't even need to look at this. Elves. Elves are Jay's thing. Elves. And elves. Elves. Yes. Elves. 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 Elf. And it's in this case, elf. Jay is going with. Jay, make your announcement. Selfie. From Thank you. Yes, I mean, obviously. like, come on. To no one's surprise. Yeah. To no one's surprise. I mean, come on. Her the yeah. entire season this season was like about their like her reunion with Rudy and like mm-hmm. how she's like so shy to reveal that she like Fitz is her. Um, mm-hmm. because she's worried that he won't remember her. Mm-hmm. And then like when they when she finally like comes up with this devious plan to reveal herself to him, it's just so, so sweet. So devious, and so sweet. devious and sweet, devious mm. and devious. I, I almost put her as mine. It's good girl. It's good a, girl. It is a very, good very, girl very good season. girl. Yeah. But I did not do that. Oh, okay. How many? How many did you narrow it down to? Four, five. I had, I had three. Ten? I had three, and Selfie's one of them. But I've changed. Okay. But I've decided no, she must not be one of them. So I only no. have two now. Okay. Let me tell you who best girl is this season. There's Mubarak. a little show called Rent a Girlfriend. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> And there's a girl in that show. She's a real amazing hot hot. She's not even best girl in that show. Yes, and she that's is. Why, that's why she's not my best girl of the season. Oh, okay. Yeah. Is it I'm mommy? Just, I just wanted to talk about it. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. Not mommy. No. Um, no, my Shout best girl. Zeros. I just wanted to I wanted to troll you guys because I know you guys don't like. Shout out Zero's producer. Do you son. like Rent a Girlfriend? Yeah, shout out Zero's mommy. No, best girl of the season. Let's stop beating around the bush. It's Hori. Yeah. From, okay. Mia. Hori yeah. uh, Mia. Uh, Mia. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I almost called it Mori, Miri. I don't know. We've been talking Neon Genesis. Neon Genesis, <laughs> Neon Genesis yeah. Evangelion Genesis and Mia. Knuckles featuring yes. Dante from the Devil May Cry series. <laughs> what the what? hell are you saying? <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> Anyway, Hori. Hori is a good girl. <laughs> She's very great. I almost thought about going to with uh, <laughs> Riza from Atelier Riza, but that's just a oh, little too, a little bit too much of a Homer pick for me. I had. I don't just... know. That's a good waifu. Yeah, I'd appreciate I, that. Yeah, yeah. Thighs is a good choice too. Yeah. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick with Hori. No, I, I like it. I yeah. like it. I, I a little bit of eyes on the year end awards too for who's gonna mm-hmm. win there, and mm-hmm. I think Riza. While I love her. I just there's not much chance of her ever winning anything either. So I mean, shout out to Mio again from Mio's great. Uh, yes, from uh, my, my happy, happy marriage. marriage. Yeah. yeah, she's she's great. Yeah, uh, but more protecty. I think mm-hmm. there's some good girls in Bleach too. Yeah. Bleach had some good girls this season as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, what about? Oh, here we go. Here's the contentious one. Studio of the season. Mm. This is I the part. Feel like this is going to be a fun year or fun season for Studio for us. I just have a I, feeling. I have a feeling as well because yeah. I am picking the studio I never thought I would pick at the start of the season. I do went on a rant. It, do it, I went on a rant it, about how I, Jerry, I, Jerry, Jerry, uh, Jerry, I can't Jerry, believe Jerry, Jerry, I am now announcing Jerry, my studio Jerry. of the season as Go Hands. Unbelievable! Not yeah. because they, not because yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not because they did anything like crazy. It's because they just didn't sh- the bed as much as I thought they would. So I mean, props. They did. They did two decent shows. I mean, yeah, hey, yeah. good on them. Good yeah. job. And good job. I'll, I'll give them props as well. Whoever whoever picks out their OP and ED songs, uh, man, give that person a raise. Yep. Give that man a raise right now. <laughs> There's just one guy working there that knows good music. I don't know. Like and that. everyone else is just like, has cross eyes, just kind of like. <laughs> <laughs> what? Why do they have cross eyes? You can't, they can't good see. Because they can't see. Because they think funny. what they're doing looks good. <laughs> yeah. Listen, uh, is more is better. 
More no, is better. <laughs> you know what? The first episode, honestly, the only issue I had in terms of like the Gohansiness was the first episode of The Girl I Like Forgot Her Glasses. Uh, Masterful Cat never had an issue. And honestly, Glasses Girl got good towards the end of the season. It didn't have yeah. its like crazy, wacky f- camera flying around on people's shoes. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm going with that one. Burn me at the stake. Uh, pull my eyes out with a spoon. I, I'm standing by it. Nah, you know what? Yeah. I like it. That's a good, honestly, that's a good pick. Cause like a lot of your awards went to characters from those shows. So yeah, no, exactly. That's something like, you enjoyed, right? No, yeah. I, those were they the shows that I kept shows up with. Season, which is crazy. Yeah. 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 They were the shows I kept up with. Jay, best studio. My best studio of the season is a studio that I love very no dearly. No. And that is. Uh, Studio Bind. I mean, Bind. Um, they had to the adapt. One hit wonder. They had to adapt an arc that, on paper, like no normal person in their day to day life would be watching that. Yeah, and no, they made true. it. That's work. kind of Mushoku Tensei as a whole. They put right? the ED. Yeah. yeah. In they did. You know, yeah. for a show about ED, it really Animated. didn't have a good ED. <laughs> no, that's a, had a bad ED. Yeah, that's kind of yeah. weird, actually. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Anyway, um, but like, yeah, they like they made this weird, awkward arc feel mm. like I was watching something normal. Mm. And and like I know that a lot of people were like complaining about them taking stuff out and like, like changing things from the light novel. But honestly, what like. This is coming from an anime only, so I mean, whatever. But you're like, anime only on Mushoku Tensei. Uh, yeah, that's on purpose. That's actually that's actually surprising to me. Yeah, Just I from, my, from knowing you. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I have the first volume of the light novel. Uh, ah, uh, there it is. There but, it is. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> but I haven't <laughs> read it. it so- <laughs> but I haven't. You know, I didn't believe you until you showed me the. Yeah. yeah. The, uh, <laughs> but I haven't but read anyway, it yeah. because um. I I don't want to go into watching the show and being like, oh, I know what happens. I want to yeah, be surprised no. every week. And, yeah, okay. like, the way the show kind of, like, deals with the subject matter of the arc, it didn't feel weird in any way. And which, like, I, no. I'm i not too sure if well, they I, I hate took... to break it to you, Jay, but as, like, three aging men, the subject matter in this arc will become more relevant to us. Oh, Jay's young. Yes. He's a young man. He doesn't have to worry about that. No, but, but I mean, you and like, me, though. I mean, the, the, regardless of whether it's something we have to deal with or not, it's still like, it's still like an awkward subject it's a to weird cover thing. in a show. It's like when Rent a Girlfriend talks about how how often that show talks about Kazuya beating it is crazy yeah. to me. It's yeah. so weird. It's so weird. But it's the same like weird like this is a strange thing for a show to focus yeah, on. Yeah, but like it's still. Yeah. Like, the fact that they still made that work and made that entertaining. Yeah. Like, I mean, props to them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Honestly, mm-hmm. I, like, they are a good studio, even though they only do the <laughs> Mishoku Tensei. Yeah. I'd, right. I'd argue that they're a good show for becoming a thing because of one show. Yep. Mm-hmm. Mike? My studio of the season. I'm not going to waffle around because we're running quite long and it's, you know what? It's okay. It's okay. I'm right. going We've only with got a few more. A newbie studio, a studio that didn't exist before this season. I'm going with a studio Bug Films, an mm. offshoot uh, an offshoot of a group of employees who left Studio OLM to go make their own studio mm-hmm. and live their own dreams, which is and that you know what they chose to do for their first anime? Not Zom, release it. Zom 100 Bucket List of the Dead, which is like a, just such a cool fitting thing. And you know what? They really did a good job for like a first time studio. This mm-hmm. is the only thing they've ever put out, even if they ran into some maybe <laughs> yeah, some behind the scenes the issues. Yeah. yeah, but like, I mean, they're a new studio though. They're a new studio. You kind of got to cut them a little bit of slack, yeah, right? Exactly. They they got a little too far over their skis and wherever, but honestly (laughs) ah yes the famous too far over their skis (laughs) saying yeah you get a little too far over your skis you fall on your face it happens okay 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 i'm glad that you explained that that does make sense um 
yeah, no, it's uh, pretty simply just like I'm giving him props for basically being a brand new studio, being ambitious, doing something new and taking like a cool property and basically giving a big middle finger to single to their old <laughs> middle finger to their old boss while actually doing a good job of adapting something in a unique way. Like I know a lot of people had criticisms of like the zombies being all like rainbow colored and stuff, but I thought that was mm-hmm. a cool way to like, nice. it would have been too bleak and grim if it was all actual blood yeah. and it kind of captured the zaniness of the show and, and also they just did a good like, job adapting it. It kind of captured that like upbeat feel of yeah. like that that upbeat outlook on the zombie apocalypse right mm-hmm. yeah so. like instead of instead of being like as grim and dark as potentially one mm-hmm. of our next reviews like high school of the dead right like everybody those are real zombies where they're mm-hmm. like all blood and gore mm-hmm. this is more like there are zombies but it's fun and yeah I, mm-hmm. good job good job studio bug films hopefully this show continues for the last three episodes and then you guys and continue they as a studio yeah. into the future no I, yeah. I i do genuinely yeah i hope that yeah. they they continue on uh let's discuss animation and mm, that yes, yes. Mm. that is why we're here gentlemen this is yes. a podcast about anime mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So animation seems appropriate to discuss. Certainly does. So at this point, gentlemen, I present to you my winner of best animation. And it should be to no one's surprise, but maybe it is more surprising than you think. Because at the start of the season, I thought that this show would not win, not have any chance of winning. Mm Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, but mm-hmm. no, I'm just kidding. It's Mishoku Tensei, obviously. Like yeah, okay. the, the animation in Mishoku Tensei is top notch. It's it's yeah. incredible. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like I'd pick one of the Gohans. One. Let's get real here. This cool. animation sucks cool. in those. It's terrible. Cool. But, I based my entire personality off of mm-hmm. off of picking Mushoku Tensei season two for best animation. Mm-hmm. And you're just gonna steal my thunder like that? Hey, man, that's what happens when you're the host. <laughs> <laughs> I was to go uh, first. Yeah. Cole, I was going around my house all day, dancing around, going, Mushoku Tensei gonna be my animation of the season. Mm-hmm. No pants on, <laughs> just pants. dancing around. No pants. Dress shirt though. Dress shirt, no <laughs> pants. It's a good look, actually. It's a yeah. good look. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he's like a classy yeah. Donald Duck. <laughs> <laughs> I love I love calling that look the Donald Duck. The, well, the, I mean that's what it is. It's great. It's I, I, like the, shirt. I like the Winnie the Pooh as well. It's also yeah, a good that's one. a good one too. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, Jay, are you actually yeah. picking Mushoku Tensei? Yes, yeah. I am. Yeah. I mean, yeah. come on, I mean, it's yeah. a good choice. Honestly, it's very good. What very well animated show. Um, what do you think Mike's gonna pick? Uh, Jujutsu Kaisen season two. I'm gonna think that he picked Jujutsu Kaisen season two as well. Mike, what did you pick? Listen. Yeah, Jujutsu Kaisen season two was very well animated this season. Mm, it sure was, but so was Bleach, Thousand Year Blood War arc. Mm, that was my second two. guess. Those yeah. two shows were pretty easily my two best animated shows of the season. Atelier Rise of, by the way, was sneakily good animated, which is there why some, he's there was some weird stuff in farce. there. <laughs> Undead Murder Farce was okay animated i'd say you could tell they didn't have the budget of like a mappa or something like that or like the mm-hmm. time to get it really quality but it's really a, an arms race between studio Pierrot's bleach and uh mappa's jujutsu kaisen season two and i'm gonna go with jujutsu kaisen season two just because i thought it yeah it, yeah. it kind of flowed a bit better and there's more moments in it where i was watching and i'm like this is like movie quality animation. How are they doing this? And then they also did like a fully animated e- OP and ED. And they did two ED. They did two different OPs for the season two, both animated to the music. And it's just like the animation in this show is crazy. And like, I know a lot of people gave them crap about uh, changing uh, Goku's I alone. I am alone. I al- I said Goku. Gojo, <laughs> the other strongest guy ever. Uh, Gojo's little set, set thing that he says when he uh, goes up in the air and he says, I alone am the honored one. And they changed it a little bit from the manga and people were complaining about that. But I thought, you know what? It kind of works better in the way that they chose to animate it. And everything in this show just looks so flashy and stylish. And yeah. I wish people would stop complaining about stuff like that because those it's are just so translations. Minor. Yeah. 
It like, wasn't. It wasn't what he said. It was just how they animated it differently than the. Panels. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, different camera okay. angles and stuff. Oh, yeah. okay. Uh, I sure. think then that's fine. But it would look. It honestly, in my opinion, might have looked a little weird if they animated it one to one with the panels. I think okay. that's the thing. Like sometimes I don't think people think like how something like uh, manga panels translate to like a moving thing, mm-hmm. and sometimes it doesn't work exactly yeah. how. Well, yeah. expect, so. I'm sure that they tried at least like thought about doing it that way and then there's mm-hmm. a reason they didn't do it probably right? yeah mm-hmm. but yeah honestly that one and Bleach are kind of tied and then my heart just goes out to, to I mean you're a map you're a map yeah, man I'm a map stan it's okay yeah. I'm, you're the map yeah. man I'm yeah. the map man yeah he's yeah. got like a yeah. cape flowing behind him with like an <laughs> M on his chest that mm. like stands for Mappa stands for and Mappa. Michael yeah and no, not man that. not that and, and man <laughs> And it's, three it's M, but then there's Michael like man. a like cubed next to the M. Mm-hmm. Oh, so it's like yes. Michael, Man, and Mappa. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And meat. <laughs> and the letter Obviously. before N. N standing mm-hmm. for new anime of the season. Oh! oh! <laughs> Nicely done, Jay. You're running for uh, new jobs. anime of the season. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, for me, I'm going with. I don't know if he's think actually deliberating or not. I'm gonna go with uh, my happy marriage. Ooh. Uh, I feel like it was the most complete show. Uh, yeah. The animation mm-hmm. in it was great. The story in it was great. I enjoyed the characters. I was compelled. I thought, mm-hmm. what's going to happen next? Why are they so mean to Mio? Stop being so mean to Mio. Stop <laughs> that. Say, I thought you were going to say, why are they so mean to me? <laughs> why are they so mean to me by being mean to Mio? She's a sweetheart. Don't do it. Don't be mean to her mm-hmm. anymore. Um, yeah. yeah, I'm going with uh, my happy marriage. Uh, Jay, what about you? What are you going with? Do you um, remember I, new anime of the season? You can't anime. pick Mushoku well, no. Tensei. You yeah, um, I'm picking uh, Mushoku Tensei because it is a new show that came out this season. Um, oh, I, no. oh, I can't? No, you, you can't yeah. do that. No, no. I just, uh, the producers are telling me you can't do that. Yeah. Well, well, I mean, that, that was my whole strategy. No, there's no. another show you watched. Won a lot of awards too. Come on, think, think. I mean, I think guess these shows if that that's the case, then I have to go with um, Saint Cecilia and Pastor Lawrence. There it is. Yes. Um, yeah, I mean I that show that would be just that gave me a lot of warm and fuzzy feelings in my tum tum. Every time I watched it. <laughs> <laughs> every time I watched it. Every mm-hmm. week. Um, and like it started off as like this. Jay's like, just sitting there. Mm. <laughs> rubbing his belly yeah. every week or um like it started off as this like regular slice of life show and i was like okay like this is cute and then like it goes on and it, it expands on like some of the world building and some of the like stuff that's going on and i was like oh so like they're actually like gonna try and make this feel Okay, I'm here for it. And then it just kept going on. It was like, yeah, I'm I like this. This is good. Yep. Jay likes it. Yeah. It uh, Jay it, it tickles his jimmies. As... It gave me warm and fuzzy feelings in my tum tum. Yeah. yeah no, I, I get it. It was it was nice. It was nice. It, yeah. was, uh, it was very comfy. Fuzzy. It was yeah. a fuzzy show. Very fuzzy show. So, do you know do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. It was fuzzy. It was a fuzzy, fuzzy and show. fluffy. Yeah. No. Yeah. That checks out. Yeah. Mike, what was your fuzzy show? Uh, New anime. You can't pick uh, for, you can't pick Jujutsu Kaisen. Can't pick Jujutsu Kaisen. Can't pick Someone Bleach. Picks. Can't pick Bleach. Can't pick Mushoku Tensei. Can't pick Hori Mia. No. But you know what I can pick? What? Atelier Ryza, Undead no. Murder Force. Oh, okay. Zom 100 or mm-hmm. My Happy Marriage. You can. Mm-hmm. Yeah, those are mm-hmm. all Can't new. pick Rent a Girlfriend. No. no. No, 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 that's illegal. There's n- absolutely no reason why you would. I will I, call nine one one. I could if you technically, do. I could pick vending machine, but you know I won't. <laughs> you should just for the memes. No, that'd be crazy. Do it. Listen, <laughs> do it. Do it. <laughs> I'm him. tempted here to deviate from what my heart is telling me to be true, and go with Zom One Hundred. Mm. Mm-hmm. But I think probably the new anime that really kind of took me and surprised me. It grabbed me by the warm and fuzzies in my tummy and said, this is not what you expect it to be. 
you're going to enjoy this way more than you think, you dumb bastard. <laughs> and that show, it was very aggressive, actually. Yeah, your stomach yeah. is grouchy. No, 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 no. This is, it oh, took the show. The stomach. The show did. Yeah, yeah. the show. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go with My Happy Marriage as my new anime of the season, actually. Because yeah. it, when I got into, I put it on because I knew Shazana would like it because it's like, it looked like your very typical show Joey stuff. And I was like, okay, I'll watch right. this with her. She, I know she's going to like it. Yeah, blah, and blah, then it started blah, getting yeah. kind of like, supernatural and then like stuff actually started happening and like the plot like got kind of crazy and man it's kind of like yeah like this show really freaking good i Mm -hmm. i highly recommend it honestly like it's just if you go into it it's not what you expect i would say no i had no idea a little bit what you expect but it's not what you expect i had no idea there was like that supernatural element to it no before i watched it not at all it's kind yeah. of like Fruits Basket E meets like a couple other stuff. It's really unique and it's very interesting and it's very well animated and all that stuff. And yeah, mm-hmm. great mm-hmm. show. Mm-hmm. Highly recommend. So those Solid are honorary mention. Yeah. Those are our new anime of the seasons. But ultimately, we do have a specific category for anime of the season. Yes. Do. This is the ultimate award that Prestige. we can only bestow upon. Just the three best. shows per season. The best of the best. Yeah. I have a feeling there will be two shows this season. Uh, yeah. Because my first show, the first show will be the one that I will nominate. Mm-hmm. And that will be just a, a it's come back in a big way. Can't wait for part two of this season. Uh, and that is Mushoku Tensei season two. Mm-hmm. I mean... Mm-hmm. What yes. a good show. What a great show. Great animation. Uh, compelling. Interesting story, despite the, like, if you just told somebody, this is what it's about, they'll be like, what? What? <laughs> yeah. That's stupid. Yeah. Yeah. But it's actually. Like, like Jay good. said, it, it took, like, a really weird thing to turn into a, a season of an anime and mm-hmm. did a really good job of it. Yeah. 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 Great job. Kudos, Mushoku Tensei. Mm-hmm. Jay, why is Mushoku Tensei your anime of the season? <laughs> Well, um, I was actually uh, debating between two shows okay. on my anime of the season, mm-hmm. and it was kind of for different reasons. Like, um, Mushoku Tensei was such an interesting watch, um, and much more, like, uh, psychological in the sense of, like, it's about Rudy's psyche and about, mm-hmm. like, what the stuff that he's going through, and it's a much yeah. more personal show. Mm. Uh, or a much more personal story um yes. but it still had like that good animation good yes. fight scenes and things yes. like that erectile yes. dysfunction uh, that too <laughs> um and then i looked over on the other side of the room and i saw mm-hmm. bungo stray dogs mm. season oh. five yeah and dogs that I show in his cage was like, just mm. like absolutely um like turned up to 11 uh like the stakes couldn't be any higher. The threat couldn't be any more threatening. It like it it felt like, you know, super crazy stuff was going on. But mm. uh, after careful many, deliberation, many many hours of deliberating, mm. I had to pick one. And at you the could. end of the day, I had to pick the show that I watched religiously every week. Mm. And that was Mushoku mm-hmm. Tensei. And that was yeah. the show where you texted me every Sunday. Did you, you watch Mushoku Tensei yet? <laughs> yeah. yeah. What did you think? Why do you what think this happened? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only one that I distinctly remember, like, having to delay doing things because Jay was like, no, I simply must watch this the second it comes out. <laughs> <laughs> There's no other option. I, if I watch it even ten minutes late, I will not live any longer. This is it's why the only way. This yeah. is why you don't get me back into anime and hope that my burnout persists. Because if it persists, then I'm here on time. <laughs> well, well, you were here on time today. I really yeah. enjoy. Well, Mushoku anime, Tensei isn't airing anymore. That's true. For yeah. now. <laughs> For now, Michael Shy will be soon. Um, oh yeah, Shy. I'm looking forward to that show. So yeah. obviously there's a few shows that you could probably guess already are in my running for the, the, my anime no, of the season, I, right? I we got, we got some Jujutsu Kaisen, season oh, two. really? Fantastic like show. Yeah. Never heard of it. We got some Bleach. Fantastic. Bleach? Just put Both that straight into my eyes. 
incredibly highly rated. I'm thirsty. <laughs> I am on very thirsty. Thir- thir- I heard thir- it thir- thir- gets rid of uh, diseases. Hey, no, no we're don't not do it. No, no, nope. that's not advice. <laughs> don't do that. Uh, Stop. Zom 100 is not in the running for this. It's not that. It's not as good as these other shows. Mm. My happy marriage, honestly, I, I, could be. Could, could be, be there. Yeah, be, yeah. It's, it's touching. It's touching the precipice that these it's two touching the cloth. touching the lovely peaks of Jujutsu Kaisen and Bleach Thousand Year Blood War arc part two. Mm. But there can only be one. There can only be one, as the Highlander said. Mm-hmm. And my real answer, kind of like Jay said. The one that I kept up with and literally when the episodes came out and I have an episode waiting for me to watch it as soon as we're done recording is Jujutsu Kaisen season two. Makes In sense. my heart of hearts, I cannot go against it. It is truly fantastic and it was a yeah. lovely ride. And the nice thing is it might win my next my fall anime of the season because it's continuing, baby. There's more to come. We're only oh halfway my, through, not even oh halfway through. Goodness gracious. Well, I mean, that's everything i guess that's all of the shows that's yeah. all of them yeah that's all the shows that have come out ever you know what you know what if you want to leave uh your list of anime that and things you liked from this season uh join our discord and let join us know in the podcast discussion chat yeah mm-hmm. you uh, don't forget it's another place where you could vote mm-hmm. on the uh our next review oh didn't we just do that we did just do that, so you can't vote on this review. But our next uh, listener's choice review, you could you could vote on. In fact, what an excellent segue, Cole. Thank you. Um, hey, what an excellent have... segue, Cole. Hey, your hair looks good today, Cole. Oh, no, oh, please. Uh, <laughs> I've got all of the uh, the results here. I don't have Ooh. the percentages because we added these up really quick. We will. We will I, the results are in. We, the results are tell in. You that. It's fine. It's fine, yeah, Michael. Whatever. Let's just tell the people what came in third. Yeah, they don't care about stupid numbers. What are they, nerds like me? In third place, <laughs> buttons are shirt up so high. In third place button. was uh, the show. Uh, Mike, I can't read your writing. <laughs> uh, in third place was Record of Lodos War. Mm. To no one's surprise, the, ni- the obscure 1990s OVA of yeah. a fantasy D&D campaign didn't do yeah. so hot with the modern anime audience. <laughs> I look forward to I I'm looking forward to watching it myself though. Mm-hmm. Cuz Mike's a nerd. Yeah. yeah. Mike's yeah. a big nerd. And in second uh-huh. place was my nomination Sukika Kire. Ooh. Yes. So that means Jay, you get another point on the board. Sweet. Ooh. And our next review will be Jay High School of the Dead. I forgot the name High for a second. <laughs> High School of the Dead. Hey. Jay, I'm either going to love this show or I'm going to hate you for the rest of my life for making me watch this. You know I'm what? That's this kind is the of one what... I secretly wanted to win. Yeah, so. I'm like, I'm looking forward to it. And like, the thing that kind of bummed me out about this show is like, the manga is never going to continue. So like, we'll never see how it ends. Mm-hmm. But like, I feel like it's time to figure out like what this show is all about. It's I'm looking you haven't, you haven't to watched it. it yet either, right? No, no. So no? That's, that's nice. You picked one that none of us have seen. That's always yeah. a bonus. And that was that was by design. I yeah. wanted to us to watch something together for. Her. Yeah, and you know what? I feel like we're due for like a nice, fun, etchy romp too. And that's, yeah, it'll be a this fun, is, etchy romp. Yeah. We'll all be sitting on the couch, no pants. No pants. Uh, we'll <laughs> all like have, Jay, we'll all have uh, <laughs> couch cushions, couch pillows on our laps. <laughs> For no I reason, am, just no, I am you know. So yeah. excited to see the scene where she uh, the you, bullet avoids the bullet, the bullet with her boobs, and it goes the like right through. Scene. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. she somehow flexes her. It's it's crazy. It's, or like it's where awesome. he it's uses her scene. boobs as like a pillow for the gun. Yeah, the rest mm-hmm. for to yeah. rest the gun on for yeah. stabilization. The yeah. show's gonna be great. Yeah. It's gonna be <laughs> it's gonna be a lot of fun. It's gonna be a ten out of ten. It's going to be a 10 out of 10. Anyway, that's it for this week. Thank you for listening to another episode of the Anime Protagonist Podcast. You can follow us on all of our social medias at AniProPod. That's A-N-I-P-R-O-P-O-D. And you can follow each of us individually. (laughs) Links to everything is in our uh, description. Uh, either down below or wherever you're listening to us. Uh, And wherever you're listening to us, if you like us, leave a like, review, subscribe, uh, and tell a friend about us, please. Uh, Do it. Spread the word. And you can always join our Discord. Come join our Discord. You can vote. 
it's another place for you to vote uh and uh you can chat with us it's a, it's a good time over there uh, jay's running tournaments and stuff it's it's fun mm-hmm. Watch links to everything is at our too. website anypropod.com and if you really like us i mean i'm talking if you just can't get enough of us if you love us so much uh why don't you consider supporting us on patreon like these lovely people mr family guy 36 mm-hmm. elijah wood Brain yes. Dead B Dog, Super Mexi, Peach, and Frama. Thank you all so much. Uh, you get extra benefits if you join our Discord. You get early episodes, bonus episodes. Uh, you get an extra vote in our listener choice. You get access to mm-hmm. our terrible, no good, very bad early episodes. Oh, yes. Early episodes are great. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, so the Vault. The, Jay, we the, call it The Vault. Oh, The Vault. The Vault. The Vault. Sorry, I thought you meant like early access to our episodes. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Like the, no, the no. dark the days. Di- like the, the Disney dark Vault. Days. The Disney Vault. Yes. Yeah, like there's three, a reason those are like locked up. three hour yeah. episode one. Oh, yes. no. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> cool, to say yeah. <laughs> cool to say nom flashbacks. I did, yeah. But, uh, yeah, uh, that's it for this week. We'll be back next week. But until we come back next week, we say, as we do at the end of every episode of the Anime Protagonist podcast, bye-bye. Bye-bye. This is fitting because Horimiya was in this uh, episode. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.